It's time to take a look at Pac-Man 99 for the Nintendo Switch. This game came out in the last couple weeks, I think. Uh, I've been wanting to check it out. I've played a couple rounds. It's pretty cool. Same kind of deal as uh, Tetris 99, but with Pac-Man now. So I, I might like this even better. So we'll see. Let's start a game. They keep finding new ways to revitalize Pac-Man, you know, and I like it. Keeping Pac-Man alive. One of my favorite video game characters, mascots, you know. I have a little Pac-Man uh, collection of vintage stuff. Always been a Pac-Man guy. I'm a Pac-Man guy. That's how I'm starting the stream. I'm a Pac-Man guy, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Let's watch. How, let's see how many times I can lose today. That's that's my goal. <laughs> let's see how many times I can lose this. I bet. A, I bet a bunch. Maybe I can be the biggest loser of all time in Pac-Man '99. That that's my actual goal. Maybe during the stream, you guys can help me figure out how I can become the biggest loser of all time. <laughs> Wait, Mike, you are. You are. That's true, actually. So, I guess I'm one step ahead already. Why even play? Why even play? I'm so good at losing that I'm the biggest loser. Let's go get that other pack of pellet. Do you know how to play? No, not really. Actually, <laughs> actually, not really. I literally just like started. I don't know. Collect the, collect the dots. I'm pretty sure. The the invisible Pac-Man, Inviso Pac-Man. They slow you down a little bit. I know that much. I, I literally just started playing this. Like I really don't know the ins and outs of it. And also, when you get a little bit further, there'll be red Pac-Men. And they'll kill you. That's about it. That's all I know. All right, we got 50 left. Munch, 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 munch. Oh, and also when you get the fruit, it like revitalizes, brings back everything on the board like that. Pretty neat. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Eat them dots. Nom nom nom. It's been a very long time since I played, uh... What's the other fucking one I like? <laughs> What's that other Pac-Man? Not Championship Edition. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even think of the name of it. What's the fucking kill screen one? I can't even think of it. Oh my god, I've streamed it like ten times. Somebody please help me. <laughs> Fuck. What's up? Denise Crosby. Yeah, that's what it is. It's Denise Crosby. Pac-Man with Denise Crosby. That should be a thing. Fuck. Pac-Man 256, thank you. 16, okay. Bo -bo 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 Cyborg Cable sub tier one, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll show you I'll show you how to eat a pellet. That's right. Monkey Ball Ball Royale. Yeah, whatever happened to Monkey Ball, the new Monkey Ball game? They were going to make a new Monkey Ball game um, that got announced like a year ago? Maybe a little over a year and a half ago? Kind of got announced? Any news on that? Thank you, Akeels, for the sub. And Armas. Armas. Does it take a while for the matchmaking? We'll find out. Hey, Red Fox. 
preparing to start. I don't understand the stronger speeds, train, hunter, knockout, counter, when to use it. I, I don't know what it, all that, is. oh, the stuff on the sides, I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't act, like, please don't ask me questions. I haven't played this before. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> For, it's just anybody that has uh, played it, you can like tell me or talk to the chat. I don't know. I have no idea. I, don't, I can't answer any of your questions. I don't have any clue. Whatsoever. This is like the fifth round I've played of this. I just downloaded it today. Or yesterday or whatever. I cannot answer all your Pac-Man questions. Also, when you get the power pellets, it kills off the other Pac-Man. Let's slow you down. Like that. Getting closer all the time. 53. Nom nom nom. Oh shit. How many ghosts can I eat? Motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. Wow, that was close. Okay, there's the red Pac Man. Shit. Damn it! That threw me off. Thank you, Star Howl, for the sub. He says, Elfiten Vulgen Jern Spatzen Schlush Plazen. I, exactly. Just, that's what I was thinking about Pac-Man as well. We, oh my god, there's a hype train. Uh, and Star Howl, yeah, thank you for that. Uh, Beagle Boy won, Beagle B won. I assume it's Beagle Boy sub. And then Avail83 just gave out a bunch of gift subs. Here we go. Edelus Gad, XX Robosexual, XX Mega Man 8 Bits, Dom Bomb, Dirty Dan, Don Creech, Shakedown, Dragon Dace 04, Jack of Barbs, and Awful Waffle. You guys just all got gift subs. So give a big thanks out to Able83. Thank you, Able83. And thank you, Phoenix F2B. Boom, we're going crazy with this hype train. Alrighty, we're on level two. Very good, thank you guys. Uh, so this is Pac-Man 99, it's a new game. If you're just coming in, you probably all heard of it, but if you haven't, uh, yeah, it's like Tetris 99, but Pac-Man. I don't know, we're just trying it out, fucking around, whatever. Which system? Uh, I'm playing it right now on Switch. I don't know um, if it's on other shit. Is it on other shit stuff? It's <laughs> a good question. Is it this on like PS4 and shit? But thank you very much. Bunch of stuff. Oh my god, actually, no, I'm sorry. We're on Hype Train level three. So four minutes left to get through Hype Train level three. We have started, I gotta thank you guys once again. I have started every single stream for the past like five or six streams with a Hype Train. Nothing like that's ever happened in all my years of streaming, like all these continual Hype Trains. So thank you very much for that. So, it's another day. So, we got, let's see if we can get to level four. Three minutes, 40 seconds. Boom. How's the game? Is it fun, hard? I don't, well, by the end of the stream, I'll try to answer that for you. I don't know. I just really started playing. I, so, as we go through this stream, we'll figure out if I like this game or not. So far, it's fun. The, the first couple rounds I played, I'm enjoying it. 
Thank you uh, for all the bits, too. I saw all these bits coming in Phoenix F2B. All right, I'm going to play another round. You know what's good in between rounds? It gives me a second to be able to look over at the chat. So this might be the perfect streaming game, actually. Of course you get here and it's Hype Train. Yup, Hype Train. Hype Train, baby. Thank you, Broom Hatter. Do bits count towards Hype Trains, by the way? Because I've been getting lots of bits, too. All you guys that have been given bits. I think that counts towards subs, gifts, or bits, it says. Yeah, oh yeah, that does work. So bits work, too. See, I'm still learning how all this Twitch shit works. Um, cause I don't know, cause I'm very stupid. You guys know that though. That's, I mean, that's obvious. As, as soon, I think as soon as anybody comes in my, into my streams, they're like, oh, this is a dumb guy. I'll, now watch him. <laughs> you know what? I'm even, I feel kind of bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gift sub to this guy. Usually, I don't even believe in gift subs, but let me tell you something. This guy, he looks like he, he looks like he could use it. He's very dumb. He's very, very dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. I get it because I actually I, I am very stupid <laughs> Which is fine Whatever you live and you die anyway, so what the hell does it matter? Even if I was the smartest person I'd still fucking drop dead eventually, right? So yeah. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go through life with innocent bliss instead. I'd rather have that see when you're really intelligent you probably like know all the horrible things that'll, you know, happen and whatnot. When you're dumb, you're just like, everything's really great, isn't it, guys? <laughs> so, th I'm totally fine with that. And, oh, also, obviously, no pause in, in this game. No pause. I will go through those gift subs in a minute. I saw that I just got a whole bunch more from DRN001. Thank you. Not that I can look at the moment. But thank you, guys. Let's keep that hype train a-rolling. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it all the way. Let's... Hey, guys, do you want to go all the way with me? <laughs> How many viewers did I just lose? Everybody? Pretty much? I figure everybody's gone now. That's whatever. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. <laughs> None of this fucking matters, does it? They're like, no. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Boom. All right, let's get nom 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 nom. Hey, you know what the sequel would be? Miss Pac-Man. Two five six. See what I just thought of? You know what? I'm gonna go back on the whole stupid thing. I'm not that stupid actually, because think of the idea that I just thought of. Miss Pac-Man two five six. See. Brilliant ideas are born here. <laughs> All right, let's go through this. So uh, we just got a bunch more gift subs, and we're on level four. Working on three minutes to get to the last level. Uh, Wet Maverick subbed. Phoenix F2B uh, subbed. Wet Maverick gave one to War Destroyer. And then we got all these gift subs from DRN underscore 001. Let's go through this. Professor Monkey Buttons, you got a sub. Violent Jet, you got a sub. sub. Dog Ray, you got a sub. Nimbus King, you got a sub. C Label Lamb, Nostalgic Skull, Landon White, King Canada Live, Dream C, Co Co Coho Hum something, Dean Rules, Hello, Canoes, Bird Up, Bird Up. I like that show too. Mecha Brad, AW, Amstar, Monkey Lover, Lady Lover, X, uh, IT, Zero, uh, Shit Lover, Snow Milk, 666, um, Dick Lover, Matt W S U, Ass Lover, Fubar M M Eight, Fear Dreadster, Wolfgang Four Two One, Humming Rock Underscore, uh, Solid Cock Eater, uh, and Solid Steak Eater Seven. You guys all just got gift subs from DRN O O One. Thank you very much. Big thanks to him. Oh my God. Holy crap. And bits. There we go. So we got. Uh, <laughs> And we're we got you got one minute thirty seconds for us to get the level five and then this whole and then the whole hype train ends. So minute twenty seconds if you wanna do it. Thank you very much guys. But at this point we got the hype train level four. I appreciate it even if it stops right there. Holy moly. Thank you guys.
Cum Splasher. Cum Splasher, that was from Wheel of Fortune. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I think it was Wheel of Fortune. Or was it a different game? I think it was Wheel of Fortune. Pretty sure. Or no, I'm thinking of, uh, what, what was the other name? Tuna, Tuna Dick was Wheel of Fortune. What was Cum Splasher from? That was from a different thing. Maybe somebody remembers. There, there's some Mike Matei stream trivia. <laughs> What's up, uh, Amy? Hey, Static Ladder. Thank you, Joxua, for the tier one sub. He says, Wiener Barf. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate the sub. All right, you got 35 seconds left. Thank you, guys. All right, time for the next round. Here we go. Let's get it going. Your girl calls you tuna dick now. That's cool. It's always nice. It's always nice. It goes like that. <laughs> Lord. Bump, 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 bump. Here we go. Ready. So what did I get last time? Like 20 or something? If you are just joining, this is uh, Donkey Kong 99 for the Xbox One R, whatever the hell it's called. No, this is Pac-Man 99 for the Nintendo Switch. Is this game on uh, PS4? I guess I could just look it up. Or is it a Switch exclusive? I don't know. When those red Pac-Man come out, oh boy. That's trouble time. Go, 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 go. Fuck you. Boom, eat you, boom, eat you. I don't know if it's better to just like grab the fruit as soon as you see it, or to like try to keep it going. As I'm going through this, if anybody's got like pro pro tips, I'm all ears. Like a Ferengi. I think there's a part. There's got to be a moment in an episode where a Ferengi says, "I'm all ears," right? That that has to be a line, I would think. If it's not, then fuck everything. Okay. Okay. Fuck it all. I am in trouble here. Wow, okay. Just stayed alive. All right, here comes the red ones. Go down here. Nom, nom, nom. It's the pack pellet doesn't you can't get through the red ones even if you have the pack pellet I didn't even realize that <sighs> well now I know let's see what everybody's saying here uh, of course I get told he's 15 minutes get twitch app What's that, Sunkensu? I don't even know what you're talking about. Super Jeff Good Gamer says Dick Jones and then puts a Robocop emote. I. I sure. <laughs> Robocop Dick Jones. Mike never plays Kid Icarus. Why? Because he's scared. That's why. I'm so... I'm terrified of Kid Icarus. Yes. Uh, no, actually, I played a little bit of Kid Icarus on stream. I haven't gone through the whole game. Um, actually, I think when I went through the NES, all the NES games, I played some Kid Icarus. But I do need to go through the entire game um, for sure. I'd have to practice it some first. One of these days, we'll get to that. For sure. For sure. One, one day. 
getting chaotic. Death by a red Pac-Man. Yes, the red Pac-Men kill you in this, apparently. Get all the small pellets early before the fruit and build up your speed. Build up your speed. Oh, does getting the small pellets build your speed up? I didn't know that. It's fun so far, Andre. I just started it. Head Circus Art Sub, thank you very much. Wrecking Crew Stream. I, I'll do another Wrecking Crew stream. Um, I did it like a long time ago, but I never really like, beat it. I'd like to actually go through and beat that. I used to love that game actually growing up. So yes, that, that would happen. Yeah, so again, as we're going through, any tips you guys have if you played this, I'm all ears because I'm just learning how to play. You, you get, you're just gonna give me the tip. Just, just the tip, though, right? I'm okay with it if it's just a tip. Not, not too much. Soap dirty. Have I ever played Epic Mickey? I did. Um. Yeah, uh, and I played a little bit of the second one. I wasn't a big fan, unfortunately. Love Disney stuff. Love Mickey Mouse. You guys know that. But uh, I didn't. I didn't really like the gameplay very much, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I was a little disappointed with that. But from what I remember, what I can say is, uh, the guy that made that apparently, if if Epic Mickey two, I think, did well enough, and they got enough budget to make like another game, apparently he was gonna do like a Carl Barks centric um like game like it was gonna be like a Carl Bark stylized duck universe game which is something that would be really cool maybe um but the fact that I didn't really like the gameplay of Epic Mickey I was kind of glad it didn't happen um because like if they did make like a Carl Barks Duck Universe game, I'd want it to be like really good, you know? So I'm kind of glad that it didn't happen actually. So I don't know how, like how I feel about like, like a game like that, but if it was really good, like why not, I guess, right? I would like to see um, like 1940s 1930s, 1940s style Disney game. Like, kind of like the animation they did for, like, Cuphead kind of stuff, but just, like, Disney, the old Disney style animation as as a game. And I know you say, like, oh, the Sega CD version has... It, it does. Like, the Sega CD game starts out, and it looks like Steamboat Willie and stuff. And I, I've played some of that, and it's cool. But I mean, like, a, an entire game that's, like, you know, sort of focused like that might be might be cool. so hard to talk and do this. So, okay, so getting the pack pellet doesn't protect you from those but it stops them so it kind of protects you from those oh if you get the fruit they go away mm. pretty cool pretty cool yeah 10 oh shit dude I couldn't even the, 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 those guys were slowing me down. So I got six. Six is pretty good. I'll take six. Oh, no, wait. I'm ten. I thought it said six on there. I don't know where I got six from. So I got ten. Pretty good. I'll take it. 
do a live stream of reading DuckTales comics. Uh, well, do, you're, do I gotta go there with, with that comment? There were DuckTales comics in the 80s uh, and early 90s, but the old uh, comics were not called DuckTales. That was the name of the 80s cartoon. The old cartoon, the old um, comics were called Walt Disney Comics and Stories, Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck. It was different naming on those. But yeah. But then in the 80s, they did have DuckTale comics, um, which actually included DuckTales characters like Webby and Bubba and all that, all that stuff. So that did, that did exist. I have, I have a couple of those. I don't really, I don't really like those. They're kind of junk. But, um, it's whatever. I like the Don Rosa stuff and the Carl Bark stuff. That's the, that's the good shit. You know? And actually, there's, there's a lot of other artists, actually, too, that did a lot of good duck, duck comics, too. But the DuckTales ones are kind of like the lower tier shit. Honestly. Sub subpar. I hate when people say that. I find them to be subpar. They're really though. They're just. They're not as. They're not that good. All right. So I had ten. Let's see if I can beat that. I just saw a little badge over on the right side. What's that little red and silver badge over there? Anybody fucking know what that is? Can you move? Fuck. Oh! Can't believe I'm alive still. Get away from me. Can I even get out of here? Nah, I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm gonna die. Fuck! Damn it! See, this is 6 of 99, and then it'll tell me I'm on like 12th place or something, right? <laughs> yeah. No, 7th. So wait, it says 6 of 99, so like one more. So 7th that time. Okay, that was a little better. You want a shiny Pokemon hunting stream? That is sarcasm, by the way. Well, hey, maybe eventually. I Listen, I do have um, Pokemon Sword on here. Maybe eventually, though. I just, like, started it. Uh, but if I go, like, fur further... I don't... I, like, just started the game. Maybe, maybe someday, though. That's not impossible. Maybe. Actually, you know what you want, guys want to know what's funny? I, I haven't played, like, Breath of the Wild really much since, like, the year it came out. Um, I was fucking around with it a little bit today, though. That's the kind of thing. I have, you know what's funny? I forgot. So, my old Nintendo Switch, because you guys remember when my Nintendo, my original Nintendo Switch broke on me. Um, uh, you know, I had my Breath of the Wild or whatever. So, 
this, I like started a new game, and um, I totally forget everything <laughs> about Breath of the Wild. When I was playing it, I was like, I don't remember anything about it. Um, I was like, oh yeah, this has like cooking. Like I, I don't fucking remember shit. That so I, I've totally forgotten everything about it, and I forgot how much I really actually like Breath of the Wild. Um, I still I still feel like I remember when going through it, uh, feeling like it didn't have as much of a Zelda feel, like you know, like Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time and stuff like that. But still, really, still, really, really good game, and I do like it. People people think that I don't like Breath of the Wild. I do like Breath of the Wild. I think it's really cool in the beginning of it how how you meet the king and stuff like that, and he's like the guy like training you in the in the beginning and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. You don't like the breakable weapons? Yeah, but you know what? You can... I mean, you get the... Um, the Master Sword eventually, and then that, like, doesn't really break, right? And then also, can't you go to, like, where the Lionels are in the Coliseum and stuff and get good weapons? And then you can also, like, get the Hyrule Castle and get, like, pretty good weapons and all that, so... I don't know. Uh, but I do think the way Valheim did it was a better system uh, than Breath of the Wild with the, with the breaking and stuff, but... No, I understand that, though. I, when I first started playing it, that, that annoyed me, too, with the breaking weapons. It, it can get annoying, for sure. New shmup Ajax Arcade Archives. You know what? I just got one that's, uh, sorry, I'll get back to this in one second. I got Thunder Dragon, which is a pretty new one. Um, I'm, I like, I buy like all the arcade archive shit pretty much. Um, actually, real quick, I did this the other day, but let me show you some of my arcade archives. Arcade archives shit. Got these. I haven't played those too much, but, um, this is all my different arcade archive stuff. I love this series. It's great. Puyan's fun. All this stuff. Bells and whistle. There's um, dude, like Life Force is on here. Here's In the Hunt. Um, In the Hunt's fucking awesome. Uh, fucking Blazing Star and shit, and like Image Fight's cool. Yeah. Polestar is good. Fucking Metal Slug X. Like, what, what more do you want, you know? But anyway, today we're playing Pac-Man two, uh, 256. That's what I was going to say. Pac-Man 99. That's what we're playing. Mr. Nut says, I don't have a Nintendo Switch and I'm thinking about getting one. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Uh, you know what, too? I was playing Pac-Man 256 with the, with these things. I was saying yesterday, these, these hoary... Um, I forget what the exact name of these are, where you, you can stick them on the side. Uh, I, the D-pad was, wasn't bad from, so far from when I played with it. I'm getting better every match. Yeah, eventually I'll, I'll warm up and maybe maybe I'll win one eventually. I don't know. Doug Fresh says, go to bed. What are you, the Wii? He's doing an impression of the Nintendo Wii. The Nintendo Wii is like, take a break. Why don't you uh, go to bed? Why don't you uh, take a nap? No, Nintendo Wii. You don't command me. <laughs> Play in the hunt. I, I, I want to do a whole in the hunt room. I might actually... I'd like to compare the Switch version to the PlayStation version. Because if I do in the hunt, I'm kind of thinking to do it on PlayStation. I'm not sure, but I definitely want to eventually do an entire In the Hunt stream. For sure. Because that game's fucking cool. It's on Saturn, too. I 
been itching to try this though. There's so much more shit on Saturn to do. It's like I, I'm not gonna be able to just go through every fucking Saturn game. That's gonna take years, you know. I was getting myself like hyped up. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go through all the Saturn. So I, it's just it's it's a whole fucking console. It's gonna take forever to you know really explore that library. Be year, years of looking at Saturn stuff. Such a good system, though. Such great graphics on that. Like, I, I fucking love the Sega Saturn. Man, I have to say, Sega Saturn probably has to be the most underrated system. Don't you think? Like, not enough people talk about it. Not enough people play it. I think it has a lot to do with the games being so expensive. But, man, Sega Saturn is fucking awesome. That's the one, you know? People talk about, what's the underrated console? Se the Sega Saturn. That's the one. PC Engine to a l l large extent too, but that, I, people talk about that enough because Turbo Graphics and whatever. But it's understandable that a lot of people don't, you know, talk about or play the Saturn because the games are, a lot of the games are real expensive. It's an expensive, uh, you know, hobby to get into Saturn shit. Do, 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 do. Nom nom nom. So does it matter if I let like all those invisible Pac-Man guys like touch me? I wonder if that does that like hurt my score at all? Not that like that. I know it slows me down, but. Oh shit, fuck. I see that coming. So many things on screen. The Neptune, the Ultra 64. Yeah. What was the deal with this? the Neptune again? I forget about the. I always forget about that. Saturn deserved better. Dreamcast? Uh, well, you know what though? A lot of people. I knew a lot of people that owned a Sega Dreamcast though. Um, it seemed like Sega Saturn. I didn't know anybody that had a Sega Saturn, but people actually had the Dreamcast and talk about it. And yeah, there's like rare and expensive games on, on Dreamcast, but not, I don't think to the extent of like Saturn. Um, so Dreamcast was, you know, pretty popular. So I think a lot of people either had it or knew somebody that had it. Where with like Saturn and Neo Geo, it was more like, if you knew somebody that had it, it was like, oh my God, you know somebody that has that, you know? And I never knew anybody that had a Saturn, actually. <laughs> I was told in my chat, nobody in New Jersey owned a Saturn. <laughs> I like that. That's my favorite comment of the week. Can't even read the fucking counter right now. I guess forget it. I'm not even gonna look at it. Maybe I need to change this background because where the fuck is it? You can't even see it. Where is it? Is it like not there? There, now it came back. 41. What was going on? It was like gone. It, now it's 40. Why did it go away like that? That was confusing. I don't know what the fuck happened. You got some kind of special item or something. Like, right... Oh, no, there it is. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong fucking thing. I, strike what I just said. I was looking in the wrong fucking place. That's my bad. Seeing things. I mean, look at all this shit on the screen. 
Oh, how am I gonna do this? Oh! You see that shit? I meant to do that. Yeah, I meant to do that. Oh, did you guys see, see Urkel, by the way? Fucking, oh my god. I start thinking about Urkel and I die. God damn it, Urkel. I'm blaming that death on Urkel. Did I get to fourth there? Fifth. So it's the one after, so I, I see how it works. Um, Larry, hey, fuck you, Larry. Yes. Exactly. Urkel. Check it out if you haven't seen it. He's with Snoop. Yeah, yeah, Silo. Can we hear monkey cheese, please? Can we hear monkey cheese? Um... I don't do the voice of monkey cheese. That James does the voice of monkey cheese. It, so just so you know, James does the voice of monkey cheese, super mecha death Christ, and shit pickle. I don't do those voices. That's James. I drew the characters. I drew shit pickle. I drew super mecha death Christ. Monkey cheese, I didn't... Dr James animated that. I didn't do that. Um, he, vo he voiced and animated that um i remember as he was making those monkey cheese things i was talking to him about it and i might have had a, like a little bit of input on that of like the things that happened in it but i didn't animate it or do the voices of monkey cheese so that's a james thing um but i did i did draw and come up with chip pickle and i did make super mecha death christ but he does he does those voices i do other voices which you guys know all too well. <laughs> or whatever. Whatever stupid voices I do. <laughs> what else? What else? <clears throat> all my stupid voices. Yeah, yeah the Bugs Bunny or whatever. All this shit that I do. Oh yes, that one. Could you see if the audio quality is worse playing Sega CD games through EverDrive cartridge versus an actual disc? I'm not like a, so last major on earth, I'm not like a tech guy like that. I'm not really the person to ask about that kind of stuff. Also like, I'm not, I'm also not um, super like an audio guy. I'd, pro I'd probably have a hard time telling. I don't wear headphones. Um, like, I, I don't like wearing them. Um, I'll put them on briefly if I really have to, like, level out an audio thing, but I'm not a good person at, to ask that, honestly. Also, um, I don't think I've really fucked with Sega CD stuff on an EverDrive. I guess that's on the one I have. Um, I haven't even fucked with that really yet. Whenever I've done Sega CD stuff, uh, it's my actual Sega CD games. So, uh, that's it. I'm glad you brought that up, though, because I should actually uh, look into the Sega CD EverDrive stuff and like and fix that up and do like an EverDrive Sega CD stream. But every time I've streamed Sega CD, which isn't much, uh, it, I've done it from actual discs. Um, but yeah, uh, I I'm not really a good person to ask that. Uh, like I was saying in the beginning of the stream, I'm dumb, so I don't do like a lot of tech stuff. Like I don't, I don't like mod systems or do any of that tech shit. I just play the games, <laughs> you know, and and act like an asshole. That's all. That's I'm great at being an asshole. 
If you need somebody to be an asshole, uh, I might be able to help you. Actually, I can probably definitely help you if you needed somebody to be an asshole. Um, but, yeah. So, that's the best I got for you. So, it's about Hey Mike, can you help me test audio for Sega CD? I'm uh, I'm a fucking asshole. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what? I'm honest though. That's the honest truth. I, don't, I I wouldn't know if I listened to it back to back. I don't even know if I'd be able to tell the difference. But you know, I I, I have to say though, uh, like all the EverDrive shit for me has been fantastic. Uh, you know. Like I, I definitely hi like highly recommend them. They they work just like the real the real games. So I'm definitely a fuck advocate for the EverDrives. <laughs> Didn't do as well that time. What are the best audio levels for being an asshole? Check out my. Mike Mate mega compilation. And as you go through that, you'll see a lot of really good audio for being an asshole. See, that question I can answer. Did we do Hellraiser? Uh, what, for Monster Madness? I think we did that years ago. We did so many movies. Um, I think I remember editing that years ago. Probably. It's one of the more famous ones. I think we did. Um, if not, there might have been a... You know what? Also, there's so many things would be like a clip um, of like uh, a movie from one movie into another movie review. Like, you'll be watching a movie review of Freddy Krueger or something, and then we use a clip from Dracula or whatever. So I'm sure we use a clip of... Hellraiser in there somewhere, so if we didn't do an actual review of it, there's probably a clip of fucking you know, uh Pinhead or whatever in there somewhere Are emotes in rotation? Yes, they are Uh Every, like, once in a while I change them out We, we changed them out, a bunch of them out uh, not too long ago a few weeks ago, maybe. So, but yes. Uh, so, I mean, I haven't talked about that in a really long time. So basically, the, here's the here here's how the emote thing works. Um, you can get a maximum of fifty emotes on Twitch. To for me to get the emotes, I have to unlock emote slots. And to get the emote slots, you need more and more and more subscribers. So it's kind of a benefit for the, I, you know, the, I guess the bigger you get as a streamer, it's, you get to have more emote slots. So if you're like whoever, Ninja or whoever, then you have all the emote slots. Um, I'm still trying to unlock them. I'd like to get all 50. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Cause that's a lot. That's like a lot, you know. Uh, but we got a we got a good amount. I, I want to say we have like thirty or something now. I don't know. I have to count them. But um, yeah. So there's probably I think there's about another 20, 20 something slots to unlock. Uh, so basically, the more subscribers that I get, uh, the the more I'll be able to unlock the slots. But the other thing that happens is it has to be, like, within a month. It has to be within 30 days. Um, so I would have to get... I would have to get the amount of subscribers needed to get the 50 emote slots um, in, in the month, I think, to, to, to get all of them. Uh, but... You know, but I don't lose them. Like right now, let's say I have like 30 slots unlocked. I'll never lose those slots. Like they they won't go away or something. But for me to get more, like in in a 30 day period, I have to get whatever it is. I don't I don't know what the number is. Like probably you know thousands and thousands and thousands of subs 
So it's it's a lot. So I don't know if I'll ever you know get them all. But so that's why I rotate them out uh, so that we can change them up. You know, that's the best thing we've come up with for now. But uh, I, I will say this too: even if let's let's say that I did get all the emote slots unlocked, I would still alternate them out because I because you could have. I mean, we can draw infinite amounts of emotes, you know. So, but but it would be nice to have more, you know, available at all times. Fuck. Oh, what, what twenty? That wasn't that wasn't very good at all. So, does that make sense? That's basically how that works. So we're gradually trying to unlock more. Um, let me, I can see how many I have right now, if you want to say. Um, or actually, somebody could put them into the chat and count them. But it, you'd have to be a tier three person or whatever. Uh, or actually, you know, you guys can click on the thing and see how many, right? Somebody can probably count them. Some, you guys can figure that out. Click on the thing and count them, and then you can see. I'm pretty sure you can do that yourself. Have I tried any D&D based games? I did a review of Dungeons and Dragons Shadow over Mastara years ago. Uh, I, w I have those on uh, Sega Saturn as well. And um, also there's a game on PlayStation 2 called Baldur's Gate, which people say are like kind of like a Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons type of thing. And, you know, somebody was talking about Kid Icarus earlier and me being, uh, well, Mike's intimidated to play Kid Icarus or whatever. Uh, I'm not really, uh, maybe a little bit. I guess it's a tough game, but uh, uh, the Baldur's Gate game, that's something I would like to play, but I feel like I'd have to invest a lot of time into, like, learning it and figuring it out or whatever. But I think, I feel like I might like that game. Um, the games that intimidate me are more ones that are really long and have, like, a lot of mechanics to learn, you know? Um, just because... Not really, like, the difficulty or anything like that, because, I mean, I play really difficult stuff all the time. It's like, who cares? But more just, like, the, I guess the stuff that intimidates me is the stuff that is a huge time sink, you know? Like, a, just a gigantic time investment... But I guess more so than that, if there's, like, a ton of, like, new mechanics to learn. You know, because cause then it's just, like, you're, you know, learning a whole new type of thing. So, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have... Has, has anybody in here played through the Baldur's Gate stuff? I've, I've heard they're very, very good games, but... I don't, I don't know if I'll ever get to that or do that. Um, we'll see. Maybe someday. But stuff that's like a million hours long, I guess, is a little intimidating. Like, I'd, I'd love to go through all of Breath of the Wild on stream, but it's just like, you know, you know how many when, hours that would be. You know, how many streams that would be. People get tired of watching me play the same game over and over and over, usually. So I try not to... I try to take that into consideration. Because I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that would like to see me go through all of Breath of the Wild or all of Dark Souls and stuff like that. But it's like, okay, but then that's going to be the next several months. That's, why, that's what makes it hard to do really long games like that. Because then I have a bunch of people. Because I, you know, I try to take the audience's consideration, uh, audience, what the audience wants into consideration a little bit. Because some people might not fucking want to watch me play Breath of the Wild, and then they have to wait, you know, months and months and months for me to play something else. You know, so I try to make everybody happy, which is an impossible thing to do, but you know. I'd like to be able to... See, I I like the whole thing of kind of playing new stuff all the time and exposing people to, you know, new games and all that. Like, that Saturn stuff we've been doing has been really um, nice for me because I like to, like, look through games like that and find new stuff, and then we can talk about, like, oh, look at this game, look at that game, you know. But um, it's tough, though, you know, because then there's other times where I'm like, yeah, but... 
I want to also play through some of these games in their entirety. So it's just it's, there's so many games and it's, you know to go through. It's cra it's cra it's fucking insane how many video games there are. You know. You can just spend literally you literally just spend your entire fucking life playing games and just keep going, there'll be new shit. Fuck. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 2. That's the one, the second one I was talking about. You're waiting for my Dark Souls no hit run? Yeah. Right. If there was an easy way to reset it, I'd, like, try it. But then you'd have, like, start a whole new fucking game, right? You could do it for chapters or bosses, not all in one week. You know what happens, though? If, I, if I'm playing a game and then I take time off of it, then I fucking forget everything. And that's a me problem. So it's like if I play a game for, you know, a couple days and then I take a week off and then come back to it, then I'm like, I don't remember where I am. I don't remember the controls. I don't fucking remember anything. So it's like I, it's hard for me to step away for a while and come back to it. You want to get the sleeping ghosts that are in a horizontal row on either side of the... Oh, yeah, I've seen those. The ghosts spawn while in train mode B. Then kill the trains of awake ghosts with strong, with stronger, which is X to send more shit out of the other 98... Wait, X to... What? You hit the X button to send more shit out to the other 98 shitheads that pop. That so That's the pro tip. You went a little deeper. I know the little ghost on the side you're talking about. So basically, so wait, what? Get the little ghost and then what? Understand. Like, there's four ways to attack. Yeah, like all the the uh, like with the buttons, like all the shit on the side. I don't know what any of that is. Press X before you kill the living ones. So so get the little ghosts, and right before I kill the so get the little ghosts first before I get the blue like alive ghost before I eat them. Then I hit X. Okay, and what and that hurts the other players. Is that what you're saying? Or something, the button is changed change up. Yeah. So, well, let's see what that even is. So, the X one is the top one, right? So, it would be. They don't have it on screen right now. It sends more powerful shit their way. But, but what? But I have to get those little ghosts first, though, right? That are like in the rows or whatever. in train mode. I don't know what train mode is. Okay, random. So the X one's random, right? Wait, let me see. Count. Oh, no, stronger. Oh, it's this shit over there. Okay. So stronger. So why not just... Shouldn't I just leave it on stronger then? Oh, wait, 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 wait. So wait, train is one of the fucking buttons. Okay, I have it on train right now. What is it? Wait, what the fuck does train mean? B is train, okay. See, okay, so these are the little ghosts here. I just got a couple of them. So now I'm supposed to hit it to stronger, right? Before I eat the rest of them or some shit? Here. There. I just ate that dude. Well, that was it. <laughs> Oh, yo, and then there's a train coming after, like a train of little ghosts coming after them. 
or some shit. I don't know. Okay, the, the ghosts on the, the little ghosts are back. Let me go eat all them. Here, here's the train thing. Okay, now I'm gonna go hit it to stronger. I think I understand the fucking concept of this now. Okay. Shit. And then that came back because I got the fruit again. Okay. I, th I think I understand it now. Okay, thank you. Fuck. So, the little fucking guys. So you go to train mode, the little guys. Am I like kind of collecting them? They're And they're adding on to the ghosts that are alive. And I'm jumping it to strong before I eat them so that... So that what? So that the ghosts that go to the other players are stronger? How does a ghost become stronger? Because the ghost touches you and you die no matter what. So what does that mean about being stronger? I don't even really understand that. You know, you know, if a ghost touches you and you die no matter what, how can it be stronger? Stronger is designed for players who find themselves frequently using attacks and try to eliminate powerful opponents by making their attacks more powerful than they normally be. Version of jammer power was sent out by a player with the stronger power. So basically, like, I'm fucking them somehow. <laughs> the white pac man slow you. Oh, because I'm also slowing them down. I'm sending those out. Oh, okay. That's true. I got it. Okay. That's true. I haven't thought about any of this shit. I'm just, like, playing this, like, normal fucking pac man so far. So thank, actually, thank you for bringing that up because I've just been mindlessly like just fucking playing. So I'll, I'm just I'm not gonna get involved with too many things here. I want to like kind of learn one thing at a time. I'll keep it on the train one. I'll collect the ghosts in train mode, and then before I eat the other ghosts, I'll switch it to stronger. I'm I'm not gonna fuck with the other shit right now. I'm actually waited though. Do I actually go faster with speed? I do go faster with speed. I didn't realize how much fucking faster you go. Holy shit. You go a lot faster. That actually makes a huge fucking difference. That's something that you needs to I need to make that intuitive. Like, I need to know what everything fucking does in my brain, <laughs> not having to think about it. That's cool, though. Thank you for tipping me on all that. What's standard, then? Standard speed? Also trying to just not fucking die. I know I'm not hitting all the things at the right time. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, what was I? That was really bad. Anyway, you see now I'm thinking so much about that. It's, that's a lot. That's a lot to do quickly. Going too fast is. Risky in the top 20, for example. Yeah. Oh, wait, I see. Yeah, what about standard? I was gonna say Pac Man is on a lot of consoles, it's probably on every console. The better question is Is there a console that Pac Man's not on? I can think of one, I believe. The Hyperscan, I know it's not on the Hyperscan. Uh, maybe the LJN video art. <laughs> The Arcadia 2001, although I think there's Pac-Man clones on it. Uh, CDI. No, there, there is a Pac-Man game on CDI. Actually, Lando Fresh. I actually own it. 
uh, pack. What is it called? Pack. Hang on. Uh, Pack Panic. Pack Panic is the game. But CD32. Uh, I don't know. The FM Towns Marty. I, th those ones. I'm, I don't know the whole library of those. But anyway, the point is. It's it's a it would be a better list to find the ones that it's not on than what it's on. Have I played Fall Guys? I've streamed Fall Guys, Michael C. Games. Um, Fall Guys is, is pretty fun, I guess. When I I don't know, I enjoyed it when it came out. I like the color in that game. I like the I like the ones that are racing. I don't know if they did they ever make it to where it, it can just be all like the racing ones because the problem with it is some of the ones some of the games and it suck <laughs> you know those like the soccer and stuff like that or the one where you're throwing the balls and the things and whatever it's like some of the games are not good um that's the problem with fall guys uh but if they just made made it so it can be like all the if they somehow made it to th where it could be all the games that you enjoy, like, maybe they make it where you pick five games that you enjoy, you know? Because people would probably enjoy different ones. And then you can just play the ones that you like. Like, like kind of like a customizable version, if like they updated it like that. Then that game would be way fucking better. And all, they, I don't even think they have to get rid of the ones that um, that I think are shitty. I'm not even saying get, get rid of them, because maybe some people like some of those ones. Uh, they could keep it, just make it so that, like, let's say there's certain ones that I like. Let me be able to just pick the ones that I like and just play those. And then I'm playing against people that also are just playing those courses, you know? Like, have different sets of, uh... Different sets of... Games that you can play. It's like, okay, I'm playing the people that are playing these games. If that makes sense. There's definitely... I think there's definitely a way they could do that. Um, so pretty much another thing. It's more, more options... You know, options are always good. So, I think Fall Guys could actually be a really, really, really great game. But they just need to fix all that. <laughs> you know? So I stopped playing it because a lot of the fucking games are annoying. And you gotta keep playing them. So, I don't know. I should probably try it again, though, because I haven't played it really since it came out. Um, so, I mean, maybe they fix some of that stuff? I don't know. Damn it. You don't think the Fall Guy devs expected it to be as big as it was? Yeah, you know what they have? And that's like Valheim, too. I don't, they probably didn't expect it to be as big as it was. But, like, if you're a game developer, you always have to put that in the way back of your mind. Like, what Like what if our game happens to become a huge game? How are we going to handle that? And I, like, realistically, and I think that a lot of people don't realistically think about it. Like, they're not set up to be like, okay, if our game gets popular... We have these people lined up to come in as new devs to have helped keep the game going and, you know, fix stuff like that. And people, they don't, people don't, they don't do that. People just, like, wait for the game to come out and be like, oh, this is popular. Let's go find people. But then the problem is, then you got to find the right people. You got to hire people. You got to train those people up on it. Like, you could find a really good game designer, but maybe they've never played your game. So now they got, they're just coming in fresh. So now it's going to be months and months of that they gotta like learn everything it's like that all needs to be done first you know so it's like 
But then again, you can't really do all that first if you don't have the money to do it. So it's kind of like, you know, it's a tough thing. The good devs think of it, but it's convincing the random money holding people. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it has a lot to do with the money. Thank you, Terrified of Garland, for the sub. A good problem to have for a small dev team. Well, it is a problem, though, because when you come out with a game, you only have so much time, and then people are eventually going to, like, lose interest. So you come out with a game, and it's like, oh, it's the new hot thing. You better get those fixes in there quick, because... You know, you don't want to lose people. You, you go a month, two months, whatever. Like, they, people are going to move on, you know? So you got to, like, be ready for that shit. But that's, like, a... That's kind of like a new world video game problem. Not like, you know, in the 80s or whatever. It's like you got your Pac-Man cartridge or whatever, Jungle Hunt. You pop it in your Atari and it is what it is. Like, that's it. There's no updates. There's no, there's no nothing. You know, that is to you know, we grew up in a totally different world where it wasn't like, you know, because you take that game like Valheim. They have all these things that aren't done with the game. And everybody's playing this sort of beta mode. And then it's like, it, it's hard to, then it's hard to like even critique a game or even talk on it. Because it's like, oh, well, this isn't good or that's not good. And then people will just pull the card, you know, out like, well, it's not done. It's like, all right, well, <laughs> then, but yeah, but nobody's going to be talking about this game in, in, you know, most likely in, you know, a couple of years. So it's like, like this is when people are talking about this game. So it's like, when, when, when is the time that you're allowed to fucking say anything about it? It's, it's just like this weird, fucking situation. Well, but we're still working on it. I don't know. It's all weird. These are like disappearing faster too now. It's very upsetting. Like look at this th thing that's gonna happen here. Fuck you. Yeah, see there, yeah, I'm sending out the motherfuckers. Right? Fuck! Oh, I was gonna go for that. Man, they had a... Thank you, Avil83 for the sub. You put 40 plus hours into a single server. server. I, I did a lot, a lot more. I've done like 100 plus hours. And it was 20 bucks, so you're not complaining. Yeah, about the server stuff. At least the content there is engaging. Oh, there's a lot to it. I mean, Valheim was totally worth it. Um, it was totally worth playing. I mean, there was definitely some disappointing things, but uh, it was totally worth it. But notice that I'm not playing it anymore, though. That's the problem. Like, don't they want me still playing their game? Probably, right? Um, so it's kind of like it, it ran out. Um, now, if they had more people and they had more shit coming out for it all the time, like, every week they should have, like, a new fucking thing. Put in a new thing, every, like, every week. Keep me coming back to it for some reason. I have no reason to really go back to it right now, I feel like, you know? They have to continually be, like, putting cool things into it. Because now we, like, live in a world where, you know, you do that kind of shit. They're going to be releasing, um... Oh, what? Timing. Um, they're going to be releasing uh, updates to Streets of Rage. Some, like, new characters and shit. So maybe I'll come back to Streets of Rage, because that's pretty cool. I don't know if I, I would have to get all the other characters to get the new ones, though, which I haven't done yet. So maybe I need to play more Streets of Rage. Um, I wish they had more of the modern 
characters in Streets of Rage 4 because a lot of the characters that you get are the 8-bit or 16-bit looking characters. I kind of want more of the new design, like the whatever you call it, like the animated, the animated, like the whatever, like the 2D, like that doesn't make sense either. Like the drawn look, not the 8-bit, like 16-bit look. There are new Streets of Rage characters coming soon. I, that's what I just said. It's literally what I've just been talking about for like three minutes. Right? See him. Crap. You thought I said that that I was hoping for it. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. No, I said that they're coming. I know they're coming out. That's why I brought it up. Um. But what I'm saying is, that, like the characters they currently have, like a lot of the unlockable ones are like 16-bit ones, and I I like the drawn style ones better, and I hope they add more like that. I'm not doing well at this at all. Have you checked out the different themes at all yet? No, I don't care. I just, like, want to get somewhere. I don't really care about the themes. Like, maybe I'll put some skins on at some point or whatever. I don't know. The themes are mostly terrible. Are they? Yeah, I don't really care about that. Really. I mean, I, I'd look at it. I don't know. So, okay, so I just added all those ghosts to him. So now, flip tap is strong, right? Which I just did. I feel like the only thing about that, do they run out faster? If that makes sense. Or do the ghosts, the time for the ghosts, does it run out faster when I put the train on? Because it seems like it, they, it, run, it gives me less time to get the ghosts. Is that true or not? It seems that way. Like, look at that. Look at how slow that, quickly that goes away. It seems like there's no time with the, with the, how long you get to eat the fucking ghost. I don't really get, because sometimes it seems like you get a long time to eat them, and other times, like, not at all. Feels like they made the ghosts less aggress aggressive for this version. Yes, true. As soon as they put run. What's the white Pac-Man? That's the other players, I think. And when you pass them, they slow you down. Or no, it's not. It's not the other players. It's the 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 other players are sending out the mini ghosts that are on the stage. Um. I'll show, I'm gonna, I'll explain it when I'm doing it. I'm gonna, I'll, ex, I'll try to explain it when I'm doing it. So on the stage, little teeny ghosts will appear and you can send those to your enemies. And I think that those are the little invisible ghosts. And what those do is for your enemies, it slows them down. So if I, my opponents have to pass through all these other Pac-Men, which slow them down, which makes more chance for them to probably die. I believe. 
is what's happening. I just started playing this though, that could be completely wrong. So like those right there, see those? I just got those, and it sent it to that ghost, and I just got a bunch more, and it sent it to him, right? So now I'm gonna switch to strong, and then I'm gonna try to eat all this shit. I just, the thing that is throwing me off is I didn't know it was gonna make it so that it like goes away so quick. There, boom, 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 boom. And so also the train thing, so I have a question. I thought I had to be on the train mode to get the ghosts to go to the other ghosts. But it doesn't seem that way, because like, I could be, it seems like I could be on any of them, touch the mini ghost on the screen and it, go, and it goes behind the ghost. So I don't understand what the fucking train, why, why be on train mode then? When you pick up the little baby sleeping ghost adds to the train. Right, but w why be on the train mode though? I think you have to be on strength to attack. You're not sure. It makes them more than normal. It, so if I'm on train mode and I get those little ghosts, it makes them stronger? It sends them on different ways. Strong speed train standard only effects during your power pump. If you clear all the pellets before you eat the fruit, you get a speed boost. Okay. You get a combo for eating ghosts that continues as long as you keep eating them when they're blue. And the higher the combo is, the bigger the attack on the other players. Okay. understand all this but basically so you're getting like all these combos and shit which make your attacks more powerful to kill the other people has a lot to do with getting these little pac-man on the screen the, the little no the, the little invisible baby ghosts whatever i don't i need a name for all these things i'll call them baby ghosts that gets sent out behind the ghosts as a train which then when I eat them gets sent to another screen to to fuck them other guys up my opponent players here so I'll here there it's on train now see it's sending it to him I'm on train I'm sending it to them I guess now here got a couple of them I'm gonna set it to strength now so I'm assuming because it's on strength now that that's making those ghosts that got sent out strong ghosts. So there's like different, I guess there's different ghost types that get sent out to attack. Or some shit. I don't really under, totally understand. But all these ghosts that I'm sending out here should be fucking up other people in some manner, I guess. Fuck. Oh, I couldn't, that's too slow. I was doing better when I wasn't thinking about all this stuff, when I was just playing. Now that I'm thinking about all this shit, I'm just doing worse and worse. Remember that earlier? I was getting like fourth place and shit. I wasn't thinking about any of that crap. I was just playing. <laughs> Don't think, just play. Like, that's what I feel like. Just fuck it. Just try to stay alive. <laughs> like, 
it's it's uh, honestly it's only making me do worse because I'm I'm doing so much thinking about what attacks to use to hurt the other people that I'm like just dying because I'm not focused on just playing the fucking game. Yeah, it's really just Pac-Man when it comes down to it. So I so I have a question. So let's just say I kept it on strength the whole time, let's say. Then I get those little baby ghosts. Like I'm gonna keep it on stronger. So when I when I get these baby ghosts, is that sending out strong ghosts? Like like stronger ghosts when I eat like right here, when I eat these guys. Are those strong ghosts that are being sent to my enemies, the other players? Is that what that means? I'm just trying to be like clear about that. I'm gonna like do it again, like right here, if I can even eat any. Eat like two. read the responses to that when I can. Because <laughs> there's no pause. Hey, it's just like Atari, no pause. See, that should fuck them up a bunch. I have to also get a sense of how long those attacks are gonna like last, because like, it's hard to tell. see what people said. Uh, eventually it'll all come together. Yeah, ex that's how I feel. If I keep playing and we keep reading, I'll figure this out eventually, and then in, in a couple days I'll know how to play. <laughs> um, free your mind. Usually set yours to speed and knock out and never change it. This is definitely a game to not read the chat while you play. Well, yeah, that's why I'm reading on the break screens. Yes, they are stronger ghosts. Okay, although I found my best strats came from the train and the speed. Okay, so again now. So now that that's answered, I know if I get the baby ghosts and it's set on strong, It'll send out stronger ghosts. Like a train of stronger ghosts. When I have it set on train, I, ha I set the button to train, then I get a bunch of those baby ghosts. When the train one gets sent to the other people, what exactly is that doing to the other opponents? When it's set on train and I send, and I send those ghosts over to them, is it making like a longer train? Like what is it doing to them exactly? It adds to their train. So it just makes it long more, it makes it longer and harder. Is that what it does? Train increases the amount of ghosts when you eat the small amount of ghosts. So it's just more ghosts to fuck them up, basically, right? Standard, this is the default method. It doesn't do anything special for Pac Man, but it keeps things normal. This is good for getting comfortable with the game beforehand. That's probably for me. Stronger for every attack you send at your opponent. 
Stronger makes it stronger. Okay, like we said, that I knew. It'll send more enemies at a time than normal. Normal. Okay. Uh, train more ghosts will be added to the train. Okay. All right. I mean, that seems to sum up everything. I, I think I understand it now. Uh, Doctor Roshnik, 2002. Thank you very much for the sub. When you clear a maze, you level up your speed. Okay. All right. Um, so really, I, like, I could probably just keep it on standard. I feel like, you know, at least for now, like now, because that's kind of like the in-between thing, right? It's like, I don't know. The train, the train in later game, if you survive. Mm hmm. Red Pac-Man stop when you eat the power pellet. No, that I know, yeah. Okay. Well, at least I'm understanding some of that shit now, because... Oh, also, then then there's the other side, which we haven't even fucking talked about yet. Random counter hunter knockout. I don't know what any of that is. I haven't even looked at that yet. <laughs> so, fuck. I thought we were done. <laughs> we're not done. Th then there's that shit. Let's just start with one of those. What, what are what are all those? I, actually, let's just do knockout. Let's talk about knockout. I don't want to hear about hunter encounter yet. Let's just talk about knockout. How how is that working exactly? Let's do one thing at a time here, because so, I'm gonna get fucking confused because there's a bunch of things going on here. Too many fucking things, right? There's this fucking thing and that fucking thing, this fucking thing and that fucking thing. It sucks. No. <laughs> this fucking thing. Oh, pff, I didn't even fucking see him. God damn it. All right. Knockout attacks people who are closest to being knocked out. Okay. Knockout specifically targets opponents who are on the verge of being wiped out. Perfect for getting that terrifying number of 98 foes down a little. Uh, how do I even switch those? Because the buttons are changing the train and the strength and the standard thing. How do you even change the other fucking... How do you even get to that? <laughs> Is it like L and R or something? The right stick? Um, well, no wonder I didn't see that. Are you telling me I'm going to have to use an actual Switch controller for this? That's disappointing. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just going to not use that. How about that? We're just not going to do it. Then I don't have to think about it. Oh my god, you have this SNES controller. That will always be sold out. This, just so you know, uh, Gaga Somnia, this Super Nintendo controller is from 1991. It's not the new one Nintendo sold in the last couple years. This, I have it hooked up with an adapter. the Super Nintendo controller. <laughs> so, that's it. You guys know how I do like all these challenge mode things? You know? Like, oh, let's beat Ninja Gaiden with no death and all, like, all that kind of shit that I do. Or whatever. How about, I'll just, I won't, I'm not gonna think about the knockout hunter counter thing. So consider it some kind of challenge. I'm just not doing it. Because I don't want to change my controller. 
I like I like what I'm using here. I'm good. We're just gonna pretend that's not in my game. I'll do this. I'll do the train standard thing though. How about that? I'm just gonna play and forget that that, that other shit exists. It's on random anyway, so it's like whatever. Just leave it over there. It's fine. Mike doesn't use Joy-Cons ever. No, I don't. I don't like them at all. I like these, I like the Hori things that I have here. But that, but that's for playing um, in handheld mode. When I have, dude, when I have the Switch hooked to my fucking TV, which is what I usually have it, I'm going to play with the Super Nintendo controller. Fuck the rest of this shit. <laughs> if I could, I'd use the fucking Atari controller. <laughs> I'm going to start playing the Atari joystick. That's what I'm going to do. Dude, I want to play Breath of the Wild. I want to play through Breath of the Wild with the Atari fucking 2600 controller. That's what I want to do. I want to figure out how to do that. There's probably no way because there's too many fucking buttons. That's a shame. Well, I should figure that out. That's what... Ah, oh, God damn it. Wonder if I could figure out how to do that. It, it couldn't be the Atari 2600 controller because it would only be one button. It would have to be like. Maybe it could be super. Well, I'm using a Super Nintendo controller. Dude, we could see that right now. Would it even work? Hold up a second. I never even thought about that. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Because usually I, I I use the Pro Controller for this. Let's see how Breath of the Wild works with a Super Nintendo controller real quick. I just I restarted the game like today. Let's see if this even works at all. It won't work. It will say. I just want to say thank you, Jason, for the sub. Add a bunch of buttons to the Atari controller. How about like a, what would work? Hmm. I can't, uh, so I can't even like move or anything. I can use buttons. Can I swing my, I can do that. I can't move though. Yeah, so it just doesn't. That's it. <laughs> That's as far as I can get with that. Now I can kill Ganon with a fart. How would using a Super Nintendo controller make it so that I could kill Ganon with a fart? For one thing, I can't even move. But let's say that I could. I don't That made no sense. <laughs> I'm thinking way too deeply about that. I'm like, did that... Did that guy figure out a way that I could use a Super Nintendo controller? If you actually, in your mind, figured out a way that I can use a Super Nintendo controller to kill Ganon with a fart in Breath of the Wild, I want you to send me a very detailed email about that, please. Because I will, I will make that happen. I open up the email, and it just goes. It's just p, p like p f f f f. <laughs> Fuck.
Slow me down. Son of a bitch. I like how when I started the stream, I was getting like fifth place, fourth place. Now I'm like, just can't even get anywhere. This is where the nerdiest of nerds congregate. That is absolutely true, Amy. This, you found it you found the place um because you know i so i'm a big star trek fan and i'm a big lord of the rings fan and i grew up watching those franchises and knowing um you know what people know about those franchises usually you know it's nerd types that like that stuff and i i'm a nerd and i i like star trek and lord of the rings and all that kind of stuff and um all that but knowing what i know and you know being fans of all that stuff then you come over here to video game world i would say that this is all nerdier than the star trek even nerdier than the star trek and lord of the rings stuff um that's nerdy but this is like at another level um or you know anyway so and then you go one step beyond. Then you then you're in like ultra nerd territory, right? But then you watch, you know, angry video game nerd or whatever, and you're a fan of that, all that. And then you learn about me. Now I'm a fan of Star Trek and Lord of the Rings and all these nerdy things and all that. But then um, we start talking about like Pac-Man and all this shit. This is like, I don't think you can get much nerdier than this. This is like n absolute like nerddom here. Um, I, I mean, maybe there is something that's more nerdy. There, maybe there is, but I, if there is, I don't know what it is. Like mega nerd, exactly. Film Springfield said mega nerds. That's right. I should be doing cosplay of Pac-Man. You're right, I should be. I was actually, I was gonna get a mascot Pac-Man costume sometime last year. It didn't happen, but uh, I came close to getting one. <laughs> Pac-Man fever. Driving me crazy. Original Star Trek versus Star Trek The Next Generation? Question mark. Um, I like them both. They both have great episodes and bad episodes. Uh, Star Trek The Next Generation is more popular. Um... But uh, I'm more a fan of the original, but I like them both. Um, the, but they both they both have a I have to say both of those shows have a lot of bad episodes. The original series has a lot of bad episodes. And people talk about Spock's brain and say this, oh, Spock's brain is the worst or whatever. Spock's brain is fucking bad. It is. It's not you're not wrong, but there's worse episodes. Go watch, or don't watch, go watch Requiem for Methuselah. That is, like, the worst fucking episode. There, like, nothing happens. There's, like, a ten-minute segment where Captain Kirk is, like, dancing with a fucking girl and, not, like, nothing's happening. Um, there's, like, an episode called That Witch Survives. 
which is just like I can just grab the plot of that. Ca Captain Kirk has to beam down to this planet, and there's a witch. And if she touches you, you die. Okay? So, but she has to be chosen for that person. So let's say right now she's like, I am chosen for Captain Kirk. If she touches Captain Kirk, Captain Kirk will die. So what happens in the episode? Uh, McCoy and whoever, uh, Sulu or whoever's in the episode, will stand in front of Captain Kirk and prevent the girl from touching him. Did I just, like, go through that? Go what the fuck just happened? God damn it. I could not get to that cherry. Um, so McCoy and, like, Chekhov or whatever, they, they stand in front of Captain Kirk, and she, like, she's, like, tries to get to him. Ah, oh, I can't reach him. And he's like, ah, oh, you can't get me. She's like, okay. She goes back. And then she's like, all right, well, now I'm going to be for Dr. McCoy. And she comes back. She's like, I'm, I'm here to kill Dr. McCoy. And they're like, all right, well, now Captain Kirk and whatever, Spock, stand in front of McCoy or whoever it is. And he's like, wait. And she's like, she's like oh, I can't reach him because you're standing in front of him. And this goes on for like an hour. It's fucking the worst. And there's a bunch of other really fucking bad episodes. Um, there are some good episodes in season three, but not too many. Anyway, but that is my favorite Star Trek. Um, I think I just think the cast is more um, sort of uh, whatever. I, I like the cast better. I think they're more like human and really like, relatable a little bit more. Um, Whatever. So then, next gen though, next next gen has a bunch of fucking terrible episodes too. There's like you ever see like I mean, there's the one where the Doctor Crusher has the fucking ghost boyfriend. There's the one with the invisible the invisible friend. You know, there there's all kinds of bad next gen shades of gray. You know, so they both have t lots of bad episodes, and then they got good episodes, but um. But yeah, I, I was always more of a original series person. But I like them. I like them both. But then also on top of that, I also really like Deep Space Nine, and I also really like Voyager. After that, I kind of fell off. I don't. I don't hate Enterprise or anything. It's like fine. I'll like watch it, but I don't really like that one as much. Um, and then at, anything after that is just. I, I don't want to talk about it. It doesn't it exist in my mind. That and that's it. Mike loves crawl. Somebody said. Um, no, I don't. Uh, I I like it in a so bad it's good kind of way. Well, that's why you said that, right? Um, there's like the fucking like Cyclops or whatever. <laughs> um, that movie's. The movie's bad, but it's like it's enjoyable. Bad though, at least you know. It's it's like I can sit and watch it. It's like I don't know. It's crappy, but it's 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 like fun campiness, right? Whatever. It's a bad movie though. The fucking lightning horses and shit, dude. When your movie is like lightning horses. It's time to look at your script. <laughs> it's, it's time to take a second look at your script. And then uh, uh, chapter three here, we got the, the the lightning horses. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Bob. Is that what you wrote? Yeah. That's great. Lightning horses, huh? I just always assume there's somebody named Bob. There's always a Bob somewhere. Ever seen the one where Captain Kirk's holding the rock formation? It looks like a giant dildo. It was covered with something to make it look like a rock. I think that's from Savage Curtain. I think I think that's maybe that's the one where it's like. I think that has Link. So that's the one that has Lincoln. 
Kaylas. And then like the the Vulcan dude and the the other the other lady, they're all like the leaders of like society. And then it turns out that it's that it's really like a projection from the rock monster or whatever. I think that's the episode. Uh, it could be a different one though. Thanks, Andy. Oh, the animated series? Where does that rank for me? Uh, that's kind of like in a different. I don't know. I don't know where I'd rank that. Um, there's some good episodes of that. I, 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 I like some of that. I mean, like, like anything, there's bad and good episodes. But there's a few really good episodes of that show. Um, I have watched it. Long time ago, I watched it. Uh, I mean, I like that it's got the voices of the original actors. And there's some good plots in there. Um, a, couple, a couple of them. I don't know if I would... I don't, I don't, I feel like I can't put that with the rest of them, though, because it's just kind of its own thing. Sort of like, it's just like a spinoff thing. It's good, it's pretty good, though, I guess. It's all right. I don't, I don't dislike it. Because then, then you're getting into territory, and it's like, well, what about the books? It's like, okay, well, how about all the fucking books released in the 70s and 80s? How about those, Mike? Where do those rank? It's like, I don't fucking know. I can only really rank the series a little bit. I don't even like doing that, though, because it's just watch all of them. How about that? Just watch it all. And also, you don't get, like, a full experience with that if you don't watch the bad episodes. Like, you you, should, you shouldn't just watch the good episodes. Half of the fun of watching Star Trek is watching the bad fucking episodes, you know? It's like, oh, I'm only going to watch the good ones. Why, why are you only going to watch the good ones? Like, Star Trek's, like, a campy thing. It's like what you got you need to watch the fucking bad episodes. That's fucking part of it. You know? Just so just watch them all. It's not a thing to be taken too fucking seriously anyway. It's like people take Batman too seriously and shit. It's like it's not don't take it so fucking seriously. Just fucking watch them and enjoy it. And if there's a bad episode, then you'll have something to talk about and laugh about. You know? One good round at this game, this stream. That would be nice. <laughs> Think it'll happen? I feel like no, but. <laughs> They're like, nah, it's not gonna happen. Mike, don't worry about it though. I thought I was going to win that one. 
when you get to that level, when you get up to you know there, it gets really really fun when you get to be in the t in, in the ten, you know, in the last ten. <laughs> Shit. It's fun. I like this. It's a fun game. People were asking me what like what I thought or whatever. Like I don't know. I think this is fun. Dad, dad took second. Hey, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> Looks exciting. It's fun. I don't know. I like it. This is worth it. Avenge me. <laughs> yeah, for the con. Enterprise is fantastic as long as you don't watch the last episode. Yeah, it's it's all right. Um, I don't mind it. it. After that though, after Enterprise, that's I I can't. After that, I'm done. I try I tried some of the other shows. I just. Mm -mm. Anyway, you guys, see they they're distracting me. This is what this is what my chat does to me. They start, they get me on Star Trek, and then it's over. They start talking about, hey Mike, let's talk about nerds and Star Trek, and I'm like, no! Well, I've got a thing or two to say about that. Pretty much. Dead already? No, not yet. Thought I almost fucked that up. Holy shit. When I go through the ones that are just sitting there, the in, the like invisible whatever Pac-Man like like this right here, like right. Oh well, now now it's not happening because they're all fucking moving. They all start moving too at some point. Well, the ones when they're just sitting there and I go through them, like what happens? They that just they disappear and they're just gone. Or am I like, am I getting something for doing that? When they go away, you know what I mean? Does that do anything, or is that just them going away, basically? Like, the, it just clears them off the screen? Or is it more than that? Like, right there. Like, what happened to that thing? It's just gone? Or is, it, or is that being sent to my opponents as well? That would be maybe too much, right? God, here comes the red ones. Fuck it. Oh God. Eat shit and die, motherfuckers. I was too, I got too slowed down. Damn. Thank you, X Stan Nakona, for the sub. And Jimmy Three Cox. Appreciate that very much uh, for the sub. Um, 
X Stan and Jimmy Three Cox. The pack Jimmy Three Cox says the pack is back. That's right. Once again, every it seems like every what like two years like they come up with something else to do with Pac Man. What's the next thing? Let's predict what the next thing they're gonna do. So they had Pac Man Championship. Pac-Man Championship 2, Pac-Man 256. There's like that ghostly adventures of Pac-Man, all that. And now we have Pac-Man 99. What do you guys think they're going to do next? Really? Anybody got any ideas for what they could do next? Open world Pac-Man. Dude, they should have like a Valheim type of Pac-Man game. I would play the fuck out of a, like a fucking something like that dude put pac-man in like a breath of a wild type like a big open fucking world like that but it's like pac-man themed i i can't think of anything i'd rather play than that actually <laughs> there's a little people talking about pac-man vr okay a lot of people said pac-man vr if they can make it good There already is Pac-Man VR. Is there? Is it any good? You know what my problem with VR is? I don't like wearing the thing on my head. <laughs> when are they gonna wear VR where you don't have to wear this big heavy ass stupid thing on your head? Can they fix that problem? Can they make VR just be like glasses or like, like little things that you can put on instead of this big fucking headset? That'd be nice. They should work on that. Scale it down, like, a lot. You can stomach VR for, like, 20 minutes, then you're out. I can do it for longer than that. I could probably do it for, like, an hour or something, and then I'm just like, ugh. I wish it would get better, though. I mean, it's, like, it is definitely... I feel like we're in the... I don't know. It's got a long way to go. It'll be great when it gets there, though. When they finally really figure it out. Thank you, Control Art Purr, for this sub. You tripped and busted your ass doing VR. Usually when I do it, I'm set, I, I'm sitting down. I just... Yeah. They need more sitting down VR shit. I'm tired of, like, you have to, like, stand up and, like, be, like, fucking reaching for things. I don't want to. Can I just sit here and put this on and play it, like, without having to fucking move around? More sitting down VR shit. I mean, there is some stuff, but, like, they, there needs to be, like, more of it. Do you mind a computer chip in your brain? No, it, I, it's fine. In fact, I would like my whole brain to be a computer chip, actually. That's fine. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Just, they can turn me into an Android. I'm fine with that. That's totally fine. Let's do it right now, actually, if the technology was there. I'm down, I'm down. I'll, I'll pay for that. I'll, I wanna, I would pay to be an Android, actually. I would, I would actually. I would like to be a robot. Actually, I don't want to be an I don't want to be an android like data or something. I want to be a robot like like uh, the one on like you know like a bleep bloop blop type of robot like one of those from like 1950s sci-fi. That would be way better. You get malware. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. I'm just like full of malware. <laughs> Bleep, bloop, blah, eh. I'm like, there's a smoke coming out of me and shit. Yeah. <laughs> the new Resident Evil for remake is gonna be in VR and people are pissed about it. Are they? 
Yeah. It's not a remake. The old Doom in VR is a thing that sold you on it, even though it was buggy as shit. I heard the Doom VR thing was alright. I, I never tried it. I should. I hate setting it up, because I don't have it set up right now. Like, I have it, and it's just like, fucking set up old things, and it's... I don't want to do it. I don't care. I don't care enough. It's not good enough for me to set, set it up. <laughs> Honestly. It's too much of a pain in the ass. I have to really, like, have something. You gotta set the sensors up. Find a place for the fucking sensors. I hook all the HDMI cables up. You gotta fucking hook all the cables up. And you gotta fucking have the... There's always like an up update for the fucking... Whatever. Install the fucking... Whatever. The, the room... The thing for the room... Do all that shit. It's just like, fuck it. I'll just play fucking Truxton or something. <laughs> I'm good. Just let me pop in the cartridge, please. See, they made it too easy too early on, like with, with like Atari. Put the cartridge in, flip the switch, and then the game immediately comes on. That's the problem. This is probably why I bitch so much about everything, because that was that was the standard. Put in the cartridge, flip the switch, you're playing. Everything else is a fucking giant pain in the ass and takes fucking updates. This thing's got update, that's got update. Fuck it. I'll just play Atari. Make it so that it's as fast as flipping on a fucking Atari game. When are they gonna do that? Why everything's got a fucking update? I don't want. I don't want to ever see an update. Get rid of the up. Get rid of the updates. Get rid of the installs. Get rid of the updates. I want to just put the cartridges in and flip the switch. That's it. Make it that fast. We, that's why the, like, the real Atari needs to come back. Not fucking um, whatever the fuck Atari is now, which is not Atari. When all these you know people buy the fucking name and the, people are like, oh, Atari's still around. No, it's not. No, it's not. Not the real Atari. That's like, that's like you know, whatever. Atari is a hotel, a hotel chain now or something. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to do that. What's that fucking thing? I made like a little video on it. That fucking Atari VCS shit. Oh my god. I don't even remember. I can't even remember what I fucking said about it. It was just like... Dude, I made a... Oh, I wish you could pause this fucking thing. Hang on. Um, why doesn't this game with 99 other people playing have pause, by the way? They need to fix that. <laughs> I'm going to tweet at who, with Namco or whatever. Hey, hey, your, uh, your Pac-Man 99 has no pause. What the fuck? Your, your, your game sucks. <laughs> Game fucking sucks. <laughs> it's actually really fun. I like I like this. But then again, it's Pac-Man. There's not much Pac-Man that I don't like. Except that fucking one Super Nintendo game. That new adventures fucking shit. You ever play that shit? Fuck that shit. You're better off fucking shit than fucking with that shit. Fuck that shit, man. He 
said the thing. No! Oh, God. Ah, no! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, what were we talking about? Nah, I don't remember. Oh, that Atari DCS thing? Yeah, I made, I made a, a fucking thing on it. Uh... What's that on YouTube? <laughs> hey, hey, Aaron, what do you think of the Atari VCS? <laughs> There's no reason for it to exist. There's no reason for it to exist. Okay, I wanna, I'm gonna read some of the comments. For, I made a video about the Atari VCS. I wanna see what some of the people say, so. Somebody, this is one comment, is 400 bucks with a bunch of question marks. Oh yeah, it was four, it's $400. That's insane. First of all, first of all. Oh, also it plays like a hundred Atari games or something like that. And then allegedly there- Look how many fucking, how many Atari games are on that fucking wall over there? At least a solid 200. There's like 500. I but like, and they're allegedly they're making new games for it. But it's like, who the fuck's buying that? Nobody's. There's no market for that. Huh? They're making new games for it too. Yeah. Like modern games. Nobody's gonna but buy that. There's no market. Dude, for they that. have Fortnite on it. Nobody is gonna play Fortnite on some shit PC like console thing. You can watch Netflix on it, right? I mean, somebody is, or but something. like, there's gonna be like, there's gonna be a guy that will, but like, there's always, a, there's always a guy. I, but but I do it. Yeah. And I think it's great. There's always that guy, but other than that, like, you know. Yeah. Nobody's really gonna do it though. I don't understand. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it has Netflix. You know what I think about when I think about Atari? Think about watching movies. I think about putting on like fucking uh, HBO Max. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck HBO Go or whatever whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. Is it Max? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Atari. Dude, when I think of Atari, I think of what do you think about when you think of Atari? Frogger, frogs and flies. Apparently, I think about frogs and I think about space and I think about good arcade games. See. And wood paneling. That's goddamn right. Not like. Well, the thing has wood paneling on it, but it's like. It's for like. Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. Don't get me started <laughs> on that shit, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let me see some of these other comments. Uh. Uh, one guy goes, can I stick a piece of wood on a raspberry pie and sell it for 400 uh, uh, One guy goes, uh, you can buy an Atari for $30 at your local game store, plus you can dig an entire library out of somebody's dumpster. <laughs> Let me see what you guys are saying. Sorry, I'm looking at like little comments or whatever. <laughs> the PS Classic is a better value than that. Yeah. The, yeah. Um. So I'm just reading everybody's comments. Sorry.
Captain Bob says, Atari was not epic for me. I got NES just one year after I got the Atari, so for me, Atari was the symbol of shit, LOL. No, though, there's a lot of good Atari games. Let me ask you this, though, Captain Bob. Do you like, cl like classic arcade games, you know, like Frogger and Pac-Man and, like, all that kind of stuff? The Atari had, like, lots of those type of, you know, ports on it. And some of them were really, really good. Um, so you could have a lot of fun with those classic arcade-style games on the twenty on the twenty six hundred. Sure, when the NES came along, it brought it to a whole nother level. But if you like those like classic arcade, you know, type of games, the Atari was great. And it had a lot of fun stuff on it. So, you know, that's kind of like yeah. And then NES comes along, and then you have like big adventures like Zelda and stuff like that. But it's it's two different things, you know. It's like. You heard the VCS makes fried dick. Uh, you may might be thinking of the KFC console that you know is gonna is is made for um, marketing. It's made so KFC can get attention for marketing. That's why it was made, so that they can make money, so that YouTubers and streamers can make videos screaming and. Be, oh, oh, bro, and you got your fucking Triforce fucking snapback cap, and you're like, what's up, bro? I'm here today, and I'm gonna uh, look what I got. Look at this shit. It's the fucking KFC console. What's up? Like and subscribe, bro. Fucking so stupid. Everything's so stupid. Isn't it? What's up, bro? Now, people, I like that people are just arguing about whether or not they like KFC chicken. He say, he, this guy says KFC chicken sucks. <laughs> All right, let me. Uh, Psychotic Cock says, "Yo, viewers, I'm gonna put my dick in this KFC game console. Isn't that hilarious? Ha ha. Yeah, it's like you know what? You know how your computer." It can get pretty hot. Basically, there'll be like a little tray in it, and you can put like fried, chi you can put chicken in it, and it keeps it warm. It doesn't even fucking fry it. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do that and make that joke, at least make it like go all the way with it. I want a fucking fryer. Like I want, I want the fucking, I want you to be able to stick your hand in it and burn yourself and hurt yourself. Like maybe then I would get it. It, it would still be a marketing thing for sure, but if if it was a fucking fryer and shit, and you fuck actually chuck chicken into it, and I could like play Valheim on the thing, that's funnier. But warming chicken, ha ha, it's not funny. I want to see somebody burn, scald their fucking you know face off. I want to see I want to see if I can burn my fucking face off with it, then it's funny. You know, stupid. <laughs> deep fryer dick by accident. Yeah, my cock's like just hanging in the fucking fry, in the fucking fry grease. <laughs> Got my balls in the fry grease. I'm like streaming. I'm like. <laughs> Fried balls. Somebody from Namco is like probably watching the stream right now. They're like. What is, they're like, what does this have to do with Pac-Man ghosts? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, Pac-Man.
I'm gonna get one of those Triforce Zelda snapback hats and I'm gonna and a fucking arm sleeve and I'm gonna fucking do a whole stream as a fucking uh, YouTube douchebag. That's gonna be my new character. Fuck, fuck the pizza man. Um, my new character is, is a YouTube douchebag, and and on screen it's just gonna be continual things that come up that say like like subscribe. It's it's gonna be my new character. or whatever the fuck. Does that still exist? That loot, loot box shit? People still do that? Is that a thing still? Or are we done with that? Is that era over yet? Are we good with that? Fucking shit. We get up some fucking t-shirt and a fucking mug or whatever the fuck they send you? <laughs> fucking shit. Check out the new fucking mug. Smash that like button, bros. Yeah, exactly. Click the fucking like button. Whatever. Whatever. It's a, called a swag bag. Is that what it... Is that re it real? Is that real? Is that, is that what it's called now? It, when I knew about it, it was uh, loot boxes or loot crates or something. And then it was... Um, I don't know. I still remember Pwned and I'm old. I remember when LOL was fucking new, you know? Remember when, like when I was in college, I'd be like, I'd be like, what's LOL? It means laugh out loud. Laugh out loud? Okay, why why say that? I don't know. You just type you just type lol. <laughs> and it's still around. Man, I, I would have fucking guessed that that was gonna be not like a thing that would be around 20 years later. It is though. Now there's like fucking toys with that shit. It's like the, the the LOL toys. Have you guys seen that shit? The LOL. What the? What happened to the world? Everything sucks. <laughs> Everything is. Everything's horrible now. You know, you know, our, all our parents are like, "Good luck with this shit. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see you in hell, motherfuckers." So good, good luck with your LOL fucking toys or whatever the fuck you fucking assholes do. You know, fucking LOL. Fuckers attacking me, are you? Are you? Come and get me, motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck. Damn it! Twenty-eight. God damn! I thought I was doing better than that. <sighs> New buzzwords come out every week. Oh my god! I know. What is the, the fucking buzzword shit? Can we stop with the fucking buzzwords? It's the um. 
Uh, what was it? Uh, fucking um, hot take. It's hot. Hot take. Hot take. Nice. You go. Hot take. Oh my God. I think people kind of stopped saying that now. They still do, but that was like last year, right? What's the new hot take still around? No, it's still around, but it, like it's not. There was a while where every it, everything was hot take this, hot take that. Now, now it's not quite as bad as it was like a year ago. It was like everything was hot take. Like shut up, shut up with your hot takes. Hot take, hot take sucks. Has that's the hot take. Hot take, shut up with your fucking hot take bullshit. <laughs> you know, like fucking shut up. Everybody needs to shut up. That's my fucking hot take. Shut the fuck up. Hot take a shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Swag. Yo, so was swag bag like a real thing? Like, is that an actual thing? Loot crate is crap. My chat's saying. Oh, I'm trying to ca Let's see what my chat's saying here. Sorry. Swag bag is when you get free things from an, an event. Oh, oh, like that. I've gotten that before. It's just like a bag of crap, and then like you take it home with you, and then you throw it away eventually. <laughs> it's just a bunch of crap that you don't actually care about. Yeah. Okay. So I can fucking do this. So I, my best tonight, I get that like third place, I think, right? That was my best round. It'd be nice to fucking win one. I never, I can fucking never win Tetris 99. That shit's hard. I feel like this, I could actually maybe win sometimes, but I feel like I have a chance at this. Tetris 99, I fucking, I suck at that. Anybody else here suck at Tetris 99? <laughs> Can anybody else, like, not win one? I just fucking suck at that, man. Fucking me up so much. Oh my god.
Blow me. Three again? Damn, thought I was gonna do it that time. The red and the red guy gets me. Damn. Huh? Well, good round though. <sighs> close, close. Is this the only level there is? I hope so. There's not, there's more shit, but I don't care. I'm gonna take a break, I'll come back and we'll play some more. I'll be back.
All right, folks, I'm back, and we're playing uh, Pac-Man. We're playing Super Mario World. We're playing Pac-Man 299. Pac-Man 99. Pac-Man 99? Pac-Man 99. That's the name of it. Um, but we're going to do a little something first. Since we're playing Pac-Man, check out what I got here. We've got... Super Pac-Man stickers, and we're gonna open them up. I've actually got like three packages of these. Found them somewhere. I like my vintage stickers, and they say, "What? Why does Mike have stickers?" Because, but even though I am kind of dead inside, I, I think I'm not totally dead inside. So actually, there's things that I enjoy, and I enjoy Pac-Man. So I'm gonna put. My Pac-Man stickers, my vintage Pac-Man stickers, I think they're vintage, into the sticker book. We've been doing this lately. So, Pac-Man here, he's raising his he's raising his little finger up. And he's gonna go. Where is he gonna go? I got my I got my album. Let's stick him in. He's gonna go here. There he is. Into the sticker book. Let's put another one in. If you remember anything about Super Pac-Man, Super Pac-Man, you would collect keys. So here's a Super Pac-Man with a key. Let's put him on. This is like the DuckTales page. Let's get a DuckTales thing. He's gonna go, he's gonna go up there. There he is. Why does Mike have stickers? Because I like them. That's why. Um, then I have then we have this one. Hey, look at look at this little happy guy running along. He's running down the street. He's got his little bastards coming after him. They're gonna bite him in the ass. Ah. And this is like the Zelda page. Oh my Zelda. Here's Link. Link stink and all that. Let's get him on there somewhere. This was designed by Miss Pac-Man. Let's see. Uh, how about right here? We'll do that right there. I like I like to cover the stickers up so it's a big fucking mess. <laughs> then we got one that's a Super Pac-Man. We're gonna stick that in there. I got a thing about Super Pac-Man. And this one, he's like beating them up. We're gonna put that in there. Let's put that on another page. We're gonna put that on this page. We got. Bugs Bunny, yeah. Lando Calrissian. Let's put this uh, right here. Whatever, sounds good. Oh, you know, look, look who that is. That's Man at Arms. And look at look at Leonardo eating the pizza. He's eating some good pizza. Mmm, delicious. Got the professor. Look at all these people. Some of these still have scent. Let's see what the clown, what is, what do you think a clown smells like? Probably like cotton candy. Yep. They, believe it or not, they, they, these actually have more scent than you would think. You would think like 30 years later, this shit would not have scent anymore, but most of them do. I let like peppermint. A lot of scent, actually. That oh, <laughs> that took me by surprise. That one's really strong, and also doesn't smell good. There's some of them smell fucking terrible, um, like that one. <laughs> How about candy cane? Let's see. That one's all right. Oh shit! This fudge just fell off. God damn it! Oh no. All right, I'll have to fix that. Now they're falling off. Anyway, that's the Nintendo sticker album. I'll fix that later. They're all coming out. Stick. It was sticker time on Mike Mate Live. If it wasn't a mess, Mike, I'd be pissed. Exactly. clowns smell like a wet rag you know what's funny I feel like 
I totally get that for some reason. I also feel like clowns would smell like a wet rag. That makes perfect sense to me. Maybe because, like, they put on all that white makeup and then they gotta, like, afterwards, they go in the back and then they gotta, like, clean themselves off and then they would have, like, a fucking wet, probably, like, a wet rag and just, like, wipe off all the makeup. So they probably would smell like a fucking wet, dirty rag. <laughs> Perp Gold says, maybe stop smelling clowns. Have you ever been here before to my streams? This is what we do here. We smell clowns. Here on Mike Matei Live, we smell clowns because they smell like a wet rag. <laughs> I hope somebody came in right there. And wear pizza masks. All right. Let's try this again. Third place I got last time. You need to wear the pizza mask with the snapback. That would kind of take the purpose away, but... <laughs> but fuck it, right? Whatever. Bum, 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 bum. Hi, I'm new here, and back I go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's sardonic vocal, right? <laughs> Anybody that came in at that moment, it, like, they're just browsing Twitch, and they're like, yeah, let's check out this guy who's playing that new Pac-Man game. They come in, I'm, like, in a fucking... I'm in that mask, I'm screaming like Batman. They're like, I don't think this... I don't understand this. I don't think this is for me. I don't think I like this guy. <laughs> I wouldn't blame them. If I saw that, I probably wouldn't like it either, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I don't like it. And you know what's funny is, you know, I, I, do, I do that because I, I, it's entertaining for me. At no point of that was I ever like, eh, maybe, maybe people won't enjoy that. I don't care. I, I just had fun doing it, so I didn't fucking care. So, <laughs> you know? But if I if I tuned into somebody's Twitch channel and they had that mask on, I'd probably turn it off. You'd be like, I don't want to look at that. That looks like a it's horrible to look at. <laughs> I like my cute little Pac-Man stickers. I don't I don't want to see that. <laughs> eh, fuck it, whatever. You know. <laughs> what does it matter? Munch, munch, munch. I, they slowed me down too much. That sucked. Thank you so much, Perp and Gold, for gifting out subs to Godzilla Setzer, Final Fantasy fan, uh, Gray Skull, GCal87, and Propez. If you guys got a gift sub from Perp. In gold, let them know you appreciate it. I like going into my sounds like a game show host or like a used car salesman, kind of the same thing, right? There's always sort of like a sleaziness to the game show host. I feel, I feel like some of some of them, some of them, some some of them were stand, stand up people, and other ones not as much. So much crap going on on screen. I know it's like a lot, overwhelming. If you eat all the pellets before the bonus fruit, you'll get a speed boost. Yes, somebody was saying that earlier. Um, I'm just, it's whatever. I don't know. It's about as much fun as you can have while having an app. Yeah. You know what's funny is, if you watch that video, the majority of that video is is actually, once again, me talking about Star Trek. Because I talk about um, uh, uh, the Starship Enterprise a lot in that. 
and nobody seems to remember that. That's that's the majority of the video. I feel like you know, it's like talking about that the fucking Star Trek shit. But people just remember the brown brown bricks part of it. I guess that's what stuck out. Sixty nine finding match. Have I ever compared Star Trek to Zelda or vice versa? Um, those, I don't know, those don't really, they're so different, they don't really com compare too much in my mind, I don't know. Maybe you guys could get me started on that, but I don't know. That doesn't really... There isn't m much comparisons there. Honestly. In my mind. Now you have me deep in thought and distracted about how I can compare those halfway decently, but I don't know. I don't know. You might. Have I think you stumped me on that. Let's just consider myself stumped on that one. I don't know. I don't see those as comparable things very much. such a stretch that you wonder if that happened yeah oh uh, yeah no I don't know I don't think so uh, sardonic pickle I've I've played very little of those but a, a little bit I know what it is The distraction will occupy your thinking mind while your reflexes and instinct take over the game. The, yeah, well, they didn't do very well. Those, those the ghosts that slow you down just really fuck me up. Do you think this game should have region servers? Uh, it's, I, does it, this is like, works on from a computer or something? Do they use Windows? <laughs> Windows 98 runs it, uh, maybe? I don't know. I think they use a computer to do it. Maybe not. Maybe it was, maybe they use wood? Actually, uh, I was at a conven uh, convention years back. Actually, a video of it, but, uh, and the guy had Space War, the, the game that was before Pong, because it was actually, I think, Space War and then Pong. And he had the machine, and he, I don't think this part of it was in the video, though, because um, we just, like, play it. But uh, in real life, he opened the machine up, and in the back of the machine, the insides of that machine, like, literally were a bunch of light bulbs and um, wood, 
on, on in the back side of it and it was so crazy to see it's like oh this video game is running on light bulbs and wood how does it work it's crazy so when I think about somebody asked me Mike the server you know how's the server work for this or whatever I'm like I so when I've had video game stuff explained to me the guy showed me light bulbs and wood so I'm gonna I'm gonna say that it runs on on a log maybe probably a log or a branch is probably how it works maybe I think a branch this is, this is a little different than Pac-Man 256, so maybe that works on a log and this works on a branch. Or a tree. Somebody could say it might be a tree. Megastar says he thinks it's a tree. I think so too. No, I mean, listen, I, I did set up a server when I was doing, like, Valheim and shit. Um, I don't know, man. Like, this game, if it has regions, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the guy. I do it, like, at Namco or something. I don't know. I'm too dumb for these kind of questions. You gotta bring it down a notch. How about, go, like, do you know anything about Jabberjaw? Can you give me, like, a Jabberjaw question? <laughs> or how about the Three Stooges? Can we talk about Mo Howard? I got a question for you instead. Who do you think Mo slapped harder? Curly or Larry? Or Larry? <laughs> That's my question for you. That's where I'm at right now. You know who he should fucking slap hard is Joe Besser. Give him a good slap across the fucking face. Curly, curly Joe, good fucking slap. You imbecile. <laughs> oh shit. I would like a Joe Besser emote. All the all the kids today with their Fortnite or whatever. Actually, I play Fortnite a little bit, so I probably shouldn't use that. There's pr probably better Minecraft. I don't really play Minecraft. There you go. All the kids today with their Minecraft. They don't know anything about Joe Besser. Groucho, Harpo, Jack Benny. See, I go, I go too old for a lot of you guys, because you, you guys are like Ghostbuster people, right? Should I, should I jump to like, let's talk about Egon? Or whatever. 
Dan Aykroyd? Would you rather? So you would have rather me talk about Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray than. You know, Harpo, right? <laughs> Joe Besser was a great character a actor, but not a good stooge. Fair enough. Uh, you know what? I, I didn't see like a lot of his character acting stuff. Dan Aykroyd and Bigfoot, that's right. He's all in. Talk, talk about Bobcat. Uh, probably my favorite episode of Tales from the Crypt is the episode with Bobcat and Don Rickles with the ventriloquist. One of my favorite episodes, at least. That's a, that's a really fucking good one. But I I also just really like Don Rickles, so. I like how much he didn't give a fuck. Really. Sam Kennison impression spot on. Oh, I don't know about that, but Sam Kennison, I really like. I like Sam Kennison, Don Rickles, um, I like Norm Macdonald, Rodney Dangerfield, Johnny Carson, all those guys. All them. Damn guys. Fuck me. turn left I went up fuck I my controls fuck I was trying I was trying to go left to get that piece of fruit I fucked up ah. Mitch Hedberg yeah another good one thanks for the raid dark magic appreciate girl dark I'm sorry I said that wrong dark magician girl rated thank you very much for that appreciate it imagine if they made Castlevania 99 that'd be cool Dude, if they made it and you and it could have like different themes somehow, where you could do like, 
Or how about, dude, no, how about like Castlevania Maker with the different themes? Like, you know how Mario Maker has, you know, like 8-bit Mario and 16-bit Mario and the more modern Marios. You do like one that has like Rondo of Blood and the original and, the, you know, Super Castlevania. It's all like mixed. Dude, Castlevania Maker would be awesome. And I know everybody's going to be like, but Konami. I know. I know. We all know about Konami and the situation with Konami. But I'm just... It would be cool. They need to just sell... Give that all that shit to somebody that cares. You know? Because they don't... Because they're making their Shinko machines and all that or whatever. Sell all your shit, Konami. They, they really should. Just give it to somebody. I don't know who, but somebody... Mega Man Maker could happen. Could. At least we have Bloodstained, right? Damn right, those IPs are rotting away with Konami, lol. Yeah, it's like, I mentioned, um, like, F-Zero, and people were like, well, Mike, why even bother having a new F-Zero because there's Fast RMX. It's like, yeah, and Fast RMX is awesome, but it's not F-Zero, though. It's, you know, it's not the actual thing. Sad when fans need to make games for the companies. Yeah. Why bother with F-Zero when we have Mario Kart? It's a different kind of game. That that is what that, you're that you're tr kind of trying to trigger me. I'm I'm catching you in the act, Jose, with your comment. Nice bait. I'm calling out. I'm calling you out on your bait comment. I'm not gonna acknowledge that further. <laughs> That's because you are a master baiter, but not quite a master baiter because I called you on it. So you gotta you gotta bait a little harder. <laughs> do a little do a little harder baiting. All right, you gotta go a little faster and harder at that. that up.
Mike wants the win. He's completely silent. LOL. Yes. Yeah, so, sorry. I just totally. I was gone. <laughs> I was completely gone right there. I like. I didn't even fucking know what planet I was on. Fucking gone. That's what I love, though. That's why. That's one of the my favorite things about playing video games. I always try to get into that state. Where you're only thinking about the fucking game. Because I, I would just like to live, really. I would just like to live in the video games, if I could. In the zone. I would like to live in the zone. The, the, people always say, like, really dumb things I say. And then say Mike Mate, you know, 2021 20, or whatever. That's actually the quote that it should be. You know, I would like to live in the zone. There you go. Cause that's how I actually feel. <laughs> uh, number four, by the way, in fourth place was uh, Muff Kiss. <laughs> Better than my name. Do I have a Yoda emote? No, I don't. Thank you, Tanuki. Exactly, Gaga. Right now, you would like to live in Fallout or Doom? How is my fuck hole? Uh, really clean. With soap. Soap and water? Thanks for asking. So you would want your consciousness to be contained within a video game reality. Um, not exactly. I like it when I'm I'm in the zone of playing the game. I don't want to like be in this world. I want to be in the zone of playing the game. And locked in that state of mind. Does that make sense? So I don't want to like literally be in this game. I want to be locked in a state of in the in the zone in the for the game. There's a better way to say this. But you can't do that with the chat asking you about your fuckhole, though. Apparently I can, though, because the guy asked me about my fuckhole, and I was in the zone. We can go back and forth. But I, no, you're right, though, because I have, to, I have to stop in between and then read the comments and then go back to it. So you're actually right. I can't, uh, because that is a distraction from it. You're right. I'm wrong. I'm an asshole. You're right. You're right about that comment. I'm wrong. Mike, don't answer. Mike, don't answer questions about your fuckhole if you're not comfortable with it. I don't care. I don't care. So like sometimes people say, Mike. Does it bother you if people call you motherfucker Mike? No, I don't care. If it bothered me, then I wouldn't have gone by a character called motherfucker Mike 
for a long time. No, it doesn't bother me. I don't care at all. Zero percent do I care. I'm starting to feel like this game is really good. The more I play this, I'm getting like more and more like into this. I know I'm not like switching between things and all the shit, but like this is fun. I like it. People were asking me in the beginning of the stream, they're like, "What do you, you know, what do you think or whatever?" I'm, I hadn't really played it yet, <laughs> so I couldn't answer. But now I'm playing it more. I, I find this very fun, actually. Shouldn't be a surprise. I mean, I love Pac Man shit. Wow. that I'm not I have to like let those fucking move out of the way holy shit can't believe I just did that down so much. Damn it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is a deck thing. <sighs> Two top tens in a row. Yeah, I'm getting like more. See, a lot of times, this is like a pattern. Have you guys noticed a pattern? You guys have like watched me for a long time. A lot of times it takes me a while to get to the place where I'm like playing better. It happens with a lot of games. Maybe not everything. Stuff I'm like really familiar with, I can just get like, if it's Zelda on NES or whatever, I can just like start playing it. But with most stuff, it, like it takes me like an hour to like really like start warming up more, getting in the zone or whatever the fuck. Is it, are you guys like that? Where it takes you some time to really get there? You knocked out five of the guys, it said, did I? Depends on the game, but usually. It says loophole three. Do you feel like the music makes it more stressful at top 10? Uh, yeah, but it should, because it should like hype you up a little bit more, because it's like you're near the end. What obscure game from any system 
would you want to see make a comeback? Oh, I think Per Pals on Wii really needs to make a comeback. Because, um, you know, everybody, like, loved it so much and we haven't had a sequel. So, yeah, a new Per Pals, I think, would be excellent. How long have you played this game? Uh, well, the stream has been three hours, but I took some breaks and I talked about a lot of bullshit. So, like, two hours. I talked about my fuckhole for a while and Star Trek. <laughs> oh, and the sticker show and tell. That's right. Why does Mike's game audio sound like it's picked up from the mic and not through the computer? Because it's going through the mic and not the computer. I don't do direct capture audio because I don't like it that way. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Monster Boy in Wonderland. You're the, you're the person of the moment, Monster Boy in Wonderland. If I could give you a Pac-Man sticker right now, you would be you would get one. I'd give you the whole sheet. There there's a person that pays attention. See somebody paid attention. I just totally fucked that up. Start that again. Have I ranked one before? No, I just started, like, I just got the game. No, I made it to two or three? Three, I think. Maybe four, somewhere in there. Two or three or four? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I think three. It was my best so far. as they come up in the middle. I don't know what that is.
<laughs> the other thing about it, there's so many guys get on screen, it gets confusing to fucking see. Not just that they slow you down, but so many things are on screen. Damn it. Ugh. Most obscure games I have played. Hmm, lots of NES games that are really obscure. Oh, that you've played, okay. The more you know, the more you know. Mike has beaten a lot of hard games, but does he know why kids like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Because it's full of sugar? Monster from hell and aliens trying to destroy monsters after invading you need to kill aliens. Okay. <laughs> What's the highest I've placed so far? Um, one. I always place first every time. I've never placed other anything other than first. I'm just gonna start saying that. 99. Uh, actually, it's always been 99. Either 99 or one. O only. And. Another one guy goes waffle crisp with a bunch of explanation points. Waffle crisp! I just imagine he's in his fucking bedroom right now, screaming with all those exclamation points. Oh my god. It's like the maniac behavior. Waffle crisp! What about it? You like Waffle Crisp? My God. There were so many exclamation points. It seemed like he really wanted me to notice or talk about waffle crisp with all those exclamation points because one one exclamation point would be like hey waffle crisp hey i remember waffle crisp hey waffle crisp but that that was beyond. That was like Waffle Crisp. No! It's like like some Leatherface shit. High adventure on the sea, but it's not the life, the life for me. The tattoo pirates are chasing me. 
I was threatened by a pirate playing a fife. Where can I hide? Says Slayer666. Um, mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And, and then the other <laughs> Then the other guy. The other guy. Wobble Grip! High adventure on the sea. A sailor's life is a life for me. <laughs> what is going on in this fucking chat room? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What is wrong with you all? Listen, I'm gonna be the first to admit there's something really wrong with me. You all know that. You, we all know there's something wrong with me. I'm not saying there's not. I'm not saying I'm any better. I'm just as bad. But just for the moment, let's talk about you. What is up with you guys? Because you're like fucking insane. Like you're all fucking insane. You know that. I'm just, if nobody told you, <laughs> let me be the one. Let me be the one to tell you. Let me be the one to hold you. <laughs> Out in the country. Come on, you fuckers. Come on. Before the morning air is gone, before the sun is just a bright spot in the nighttime. those fucking guys on my ass. <laughs> Goonies is fun. Waffle mask. I would like to have a waffle mask. You saw a person watching Goonies for the first time on YouTube and they talked about how excited Chunky got for his pizza. Chunky? You mean Chunk? Talking about a fucking chunk? I don't think he gave you the permission to call him Chunky. His name is fucking Chunk, man. Same, same thing goes for like sloth, by the way. You don't go around calling sloth slothy. Motherfucker can pull chains out of a wall, okay? You better watch what you're saying around sloth. Da -da 
What if Sloth and Sylvester Stallone got in a room together? Do I even have to do the impression? You can hear it all in your head right now, can't you? I would hope. I would hope you're hearing Sloth and Sylvester Stallone talking to each other at the same time in your head without me having to say a word right now. That's the point we've gotten to. That's the relationship we have. That I don't have to say a word and you are thinking in your head about Sloth and Sylvester Stallone having a conversation together. See? See? That's how well I know you guys. I know you. It's because we're all shipmates on a ship. A sailor's life is a life for me. Yo ho ho and a bucket of rum. Or whatever the fuck you're singing in my chat right now. Yo ho. Purp and gold. Thanks for the sub. Mike never listens to me. Dot dot dot. What do you have to say? Say something. Say something. A bucket of rum. Yo ho ho. See, I gave him the spotlight. Now he's not saying anything. What's the name of our ship? Um. Yes, that's Minnow. Um. And you can name it. Have fun. The SS fuckhole. <laughs> Is it better to burn than fade away? What do you you, you sent? What that's like something the Joker would say. Is it better to burn than fade away? Oh. The things we ponder. The SS Waffle Crisp. Eh. Mmm. Do I have a PS4 and an Xbox One? Yes. I have those consoles. Why? Just ask them? Yes, I do. If you would like to see, I, uh, I have most of my consoles posted on my Instagram page. Not all of them, but the majority of them. I don't know if I ever took a picture of the PS4 or Xbox One, but... Guess I guess I need to now. Some of the consoles I just didn't feel like the need to. I took pictures of like all my consoles and put them on there, but some of them I was like the PS4. Does anybody need need to see a post of a picture of my PS4? Like who cares, you know? But the like the uh, I don't know the Sega SG1000 I thought was kind of cool to post, you know. FM Towns Marty or whatever. Like, here's my PS4. I mean, PS4 is a cool console. It's a good console. I have a lot of games on it. I like the PS4, but... It's like you all, everybody in here probably owns one for the most part, like right? So it's like nobody, nobody needs to see it.
It's like out of the box. It's got like wires hanging off of it. Now, now I feel, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the shittiest picture of my PS4 I can possibly take and put and make it an Instagram post. Just like I'm gonna make it look like I'm gonna make bad lighting, like just the wires hanging off of it. Like there'll be like a drink on top of it. Fucking like spilled coffee next to it. I'll have my perfect stranger's flashlight on top of it. Cause fuck it, whatever. It'll just be it'll just be a real mess, that PS4 picture. It'll be a real mess. <laughs> Won't it? Waffle crisp! Nothing's gonna stop him now. Bum, 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 Is that what you were doing, the Ron 1360? Please tell me that's what you were doing. That's impossible. To dream the impossible dream. To fight. <laughs> He's laughing. Sometimes the world looks perfect. Nothing to rearrange. Sometimes you just get a feeling like you need some kind of change. You also Urkel selling weed, right? No matter what the odds are this time, nothing's gonna stand in our way. Can I see can you see my waffle crisp collection? No. Nope. No. How do you like that answer? You can't. Nope, never. Not happening. It's only for the Ron. Only he can see it. Only him. <laughs> because he knows the lyrics. <laughs> he knows the lyrics to Perfect Strangers, so he gets, he gets to see the Waffle Crisp collection. That's the way it works. That's the way it works here on Mike Matei Live. If you don't know the lyrics to the Perfect Strangers theme song, you don't get to sh see shit about Waffle Crisp. Alright? Get real, alright? These streams are stupid, aren't they? Yep. Munch, 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 munch. bonus
hate that. Man. Don't be ridiculous. Am I right? Am I right? Right, right. Yeah. Balky, what are those? They're my Spider-Man pajamas. Ha 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 ha. Because in 1988, it was ridiculous to have Spider-Man pajamas. Now they sell them at Walmart because our society is crumbling. And that's the way it goes. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back.
What's up, folks? I'm back. Remember before I went on break, how we were talking about how because they sell whatever, Spider-Man onesies or whatever the fuck, yeah. Cookie Monster onesies at Walmart, how society's crumbling? Says the guy who has a Donald Duck coat on right now. By the way, I'd just like to point this out. Just like to point that out. I'm part, I'm part of the problem. I am the problem. <laughs> Hi. What's up? This is the Mike Matei live sh show on internet.com. WW. Donald Duck is different, Mike. Exactly. That's to That's true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, this is Pac-Man 99, and we're going to jump back in. How are you guys doing in the chat, the people that are still here watching at this late hour? You all good? What do you guys want to talk about? You have any subjects? Do you have any things you want to talk about since we're, we're here and you're watching me? Let's see what they say. Daffy Duck is replacing Donald Duck. Daffy Duck is replacing Donald Duck? What do you mean? I love Daffy Duck, but I, I love Donald Duck too. Donald Duck is very respectable. Who's got the sweetest disposition? One guess, guess who? Daffy is the superior duck. Uh, I mean, he's funny. They're both good. More food talk? Mmm. More food talk. That's what you want? Um. I had some hummus today that was really good. Um. <laughs> what did I say? I had a. Uh, uh, I was having I was having some scallops that were very that were very good. I've been eating a lot of scallops lately. Um, that's all I got on food at the moment. What do you got? What is my favorite yogurt? Um, I don't know if I have one. I mean, I eat yogurt sometimes, but. I don't know. Not that often. Never had scallops. They look rubbery. They are a little rubbery, honestly. <laughs> what do you do when you're not playing games? Um, set up streams and practice games for the next stream. <laughs> uh, sleep. Do my laundry. Uh, eat. Go out to restaurants. Buy shit. I don't know. What do you do? I do, like, whatever. Hey, we just got a bunch of gift subs. I will call those out in one sec. This game has no pause, so you just have to give me a moment. But thank you very much for all those gift subs. Appreciate the support here on the old Twitch, especially at this late hour. I feel I feel like usually when I do these like really late night streams, um, I get a lot of like a lot less subs than usual because people are like 
the sleep. They're like in bed, you know. People aren't thinking about at their computers or whatever. They're like thinking about subbing and stuff. So I appreciate that very much. I'd be doing the same thing. Like if I was watching a Twitch stream at this hour, I'd just be like, just laying there, sitting on the couch, like lay, lay lazy. Like I wouldn't be fucking doing that. So I really appreciate that. All those subs, and I will call them out as soon as this round is over. I know a lot of you guys have been watching me for years now, years and years. How is that? What is that like to watch my stupid ass for years? That's that sounds like hell. <laughs> That's got to be horrible. I'm so sorry. Oh, man, they just all got on me there. All right, so now I can call out the, the subs though. Uh, Mountain Mountain Man or MTN Man seven nine two gift subbed out to Alex. It isn't Mountain Man. It looks like it's, it says Mountain Man, but it's MTN underscore Man seven nine two gift subbed out to Alex. Uh, Behemoth XO Chaos Rye Guy 91 and Starscream 4M. You guys all just got gift subs. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And also the Ponderer sub. Thank you. And the Mountain Man himself subbed. Thank you. People say bless you when somebody sneezes. I bet they don't know why. LOL common superstition back in the day that sneezes were a sign of sickness and that the person's soul would leave the body uh, what out the sneeze <laughs> there was also a thing like that with like opening the windows like yeah you got to keep the no you got to keep the windows shut or the spirits would come in right bubs also just give sub out to the community I, I appreciate that very much um Bubs underscore 88 gift subbed out to Gapin Stance, Ghost T, Foxhound 86, John W. Dell, Sep Susie, Dragon Zero, Stabby McGee, Sumidi 550, The Wrong Show, and Lazy Crypt. You guys just got a gift sub from Bubs. Can I? I'm gonna say that again because I slurred my words. If you guys just got a gift sub from Bubs, let them know you appreciate it. Thank you, Bubs88, very much. We're you're gonna, you guys are gonna help me get closer to that more another emote. Um, and Grinch Sandwich also gets sub to X Gladius and Sage Gamer gift subbed or subbed. Thank you. Well, how about that? Are we doing another hype train? A hype train's close. We're going to have a second hype train, I think, possibly. Well, fuck. Thank you. Um, holy shit, 5,000 people are watching Bob Ross paint on Twitch this late. Well, they, they should be because Bob Ross is awesome. That's what I like to see. That, that's the type of person I would like to see. I would much rather see Bob Ross have 5,000 people watching him than me. That's for goddamn sure. I, I love watching Bob Ross. He's fantastic entertainment. Once in a while, they would do Mr. Rogers streams as well. They should bring that back. I like when they do, do the Mr. Rogers neighborhood streams. Thank you, Belmont. A Grinch sandwich I never did now. But I'd like to play the Star Trek Voyager arcade machine. Thank you, Sage Gamer, for that sub. Mike, do you have an XI? You want to say that? The XI? I do. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck 
Oh, it's it. Um. Hmm. I don't know where the fuck it is at the moment. I do though, there's a picture of it on my Instagram. Now I'm like, where the fuck is my XI? This is, I have too much shit. Um, usually I keep it over there and it's not sitting there. Well, I'll look for it later and then to show it to you in a different stream. I probably showed it before. You look on my Instagram, it's on there. Bring back Power Rangers streams? Wow. Uh, I did stream Power Rangers. Those, like, Famicom ones, you mean? Holy shit, I forgot I streamed that. Um, assuming that's what you mean. Um, you know what? There's a really crappy, like, Power Rangers N64 game. I could maybe stream that. How much longer am I going to stream, Mike? Uh, till I stop, probably. I'm probably going to go until I stop. Now, now all I can think about is where the fuck did I put my JVC XI? <laughs> That's like the only thing I can think about. I'm like, where the fuck is it? <sighs> Whatever, I'll look for it later. Is this Pac-Man 98? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna play another round. I see the Odyssey Power Glove. Power, no, the Power Pad. PS4, Twin Famicom. Donkey Kong 64. Sega CD1, ooh yeah. Sega Mark III, SG-1000. Did I put it over there? This is, this is gonna drive me fucking nuts. I need to clean my shit up. Clearly, I, I, everything is a little disorganized right now. <sighs> well, I'm glad. You know what, though? I'm really glad you said that because now I'm like, where the fuck is that? So I'm gonna definitely be looking for that. The JVC XI is basically just, uh, it's like Sega CD. Another brand name. It's like, you know, the 2600 had, uh, you know, I don't know. Made, it, there's like one made by Sears or whatever. It's like different brands. Did it. Or I guess also the, the 3DO is like that. Oh, I know where the fucking XI probably is. I just thought of where it probably is. Because I just thought of the 3DO. It's probably over with my 3DO and shit. Um, speaking of 3DO, uh, I need to do a 3DO stream at some point. I know that's something I haven't gotten to yet. Um, we should go through like what I have, what I've done, and what I haven't done. I don't think I've ever streamed 3DO, so I, I would like to do that. I, at some point, I want to stream every fucking console. Um, I did Hyperscan. I've done Sega Saturn. I've done Atari Jaguar now a little bit. N not much, but I did a little bit. Um, I've, done a, I've done a few Sega CD streams. Not too much, but a little bit. I'd like to do more Sega CD. Um, oof. Definitely Atari. You know what? I still go f I still have not fucking done that 7800 stream. I need to do that 7800 stream. I will. I'll do that. It'll, it'll happen. That could also be more than one stream. I did the 5200 stream. Obviously NES. I do all the time. Um. Shit. Dead. 
Genesis, Super Nintendo. Like, we always do that. Uh, N64. What, what have I not done? Uh, Avil83 just gift subbed out to Slim Stanky. MS Chaos, Ghost Rider, Dur Angel Lord, and Fuji U. If you guys got a gift sub from Angel Avil83, let them know you appreciate it. Thank you, Avil. Oh my god, we're at hype train level three. Dude, you guys got three minutes and six seconds to get in some more if we want to get to hype train level four. So here earlier in the stream, we made it to hype train level four, but we we failed the overall hype stream. Can, will you want to do it? Let, let's make the full hype stream. Because at the end of the hype stream, it goes crazy and like emotes go out and shit for the people that care about that. Nemesis Zero uh, subbed, a uh, gift sub to Retro Gamer and Real Earl Dog uh subbed as well tier one sub he says whoop i vo i vote for a a to z sega cd and 32x stream yeah aaron just did a uh, was playing 32x the other day i could i could do 32x there's one i haven't done 32x i'll do i'll do 32x uh, and uh, Squido sub tier two. Bubs just gift subbed out a bunch to the community. He gift subbed out to Betamax Tapes, Pistol Pete 777, Doobie Dude, BC Dat 851, and Hangia Hang or something like that. And Grinch Sandwich gift subbed out to Vampire Slayer. So let's look over and see where we're at. This, I, this is like a game show. I feel like Bob Barker. Uh, it says 52% level 3. Thank you very much, guys. We're getting there. Vectrix. Uh, I did do a Vectrix stream once. It was a long time ago. I, I should do more. Have I streamed Dreamcast before? I've done a, a, several Dreamcast things now. But Potato, potato Boy. Um, I, there's a lot more I could do, but... I've done a good batch of Dreamcast streams now. What was Doug Walker Nostalgia Critic like? You mean like meeting him, talking to him, hanging out with him years ago? He's, he, Doug's very nice, He's, you know. Um, I've only met him a couple times, uh, but he was very nice to me. He's cool. You should be the new Jeopardy host. Me? No, it should be LeVar Burton. I think. I would like it to be LeVar Burton. Uh, the Ponderer just gift subbed out a bunch of subs to the community as well. One went out to N Train 42, Hidden X Terror, Zaccio, My Guy Noah, and Mr. Painkiller 666. All just got gift subs. That was a bunch of gift subs there. Did we make it? To, oh, we're like almost at level four. Hell yeah, LeVar Burton. I can't, uh, at the very least, what was Keith Apicary like? You, you mean Nathan? Uh, he's the nicest guy like ever you'll ever meet. Nathan, he's great. He's, he's awesome. And he also, he's really uh, mobile. Like he can fucking do like all kinds of like flips and back flips and crazy shit. Um, thank you, Derivative, for the sub, and Belmont for the bits. Paul Rubens host? That'd be, I wouldn't want... I don't know about, like, a all-the-time host for him, but it'd be cool to see him host it, like, once or twice d during this thing. But I think LeVar Burton would be, like, a really good actual fit for it. And we made it to level four... Wait, is that the... Oh, wait, it just... It got to level five. I guess it ended? Did it end? We did it? You received hype train... Wait, what happened? <laughs> I'm trying to even figure out what happened. So the emotes are being delivered. That was it? Did we do it? I thought it went to level five. So was that the end of the hype train? We did it? I thought it got to level five and then there was more. Maybe it changed. Did Twitch change that? Uh, Belmont uh, just got a thousand bitch... Bitch. <laughs> Belmont just got a thousand bit badge. Um, and Grinch Sandwich uh, gift subbed out to Ray Trace. You got a sub. And Derivative su gift subbed out to Maple Lee. All right. <laughs> you did it. You got the 1,000 bitch. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, a thousand bits badge. Boom. All right. Holy shit. Well. Uh, 
that was a lot. So I'm still trying to figure it out. So the hype train thing ended. So good job, we made it. I thought it went one further than that. It used to be different. It used to get to five and then go through five and then it did that. But thank you very much, guys. I appreciate that. Let's see if I can have a good round at Pac-Man now. Let's get back to this. Appreciate that very much. Thank you, Ponderer. Bump, 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 bump. Also, Jessica Rabbit, also, thanks you very much. You probably can't hear her, but from where I'm sitting, I can I can hear her talking. She she also wanted to thank you guys. Yeah, that's right. Car, uh, cardboard talks to me. There, there's actually more to that. There's I should put up. There's Eddie Valiant is with that too, and um, I could switch it to Eddie Valiant. Please. I wish Doctor Doom, or not Doctor Doom, Judge Doom, came with it, but it didn't. Are those fucking like weasels or whatever? You guys ever been on the Roger Rabbit ride in uh, Disneyland? It's a really good ride. A really good dark ride. They put that circle thing in the middle, that's very helpful.
thought I had at that time. God. Ugh. It, when those guys get on you, it just slow you down. It's like there's nothing you can do. Man. This is fucking really fun, though. I, I like this a lot. It's really, really, really good. Getting, getting first, though, man. Whew. Ponderer, but I'm trying. Isaac said, just finished playing for 10 hours. I'm glad I've got Mike's chili stream to relax with. Isaac Hyde, did you just play this game for 10 hours? Like 10 hours straight? Or were you playing a different game? Rest in peace, Fat Cock Jr. Yep. R.I.P. Press F to pay respects to our long forgotten, long lost Fat Cock Jr. Do I know that I'm spawning more of the Pac Man dudes while being in speed mode? No, I did not know that. Oh, wait, ones that are attacking me, Neon? Really? So if I go on that, that's the penalty? I did not know that. The Jessica Rabbit behind me, yeah. And then, um, let's see if you can see Roger Rabbit. Can you see Roger Rabbit there? You know, he's there too. He's hanging out. All right. Was Fat Cock Jr. the one who used Lemon Pledge? No, that was somebody else. Fat Cock Jr. was uh, in a world of his own. All right, let's go again. Fucking addicting. Fucking addicting. Do 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 He's here a lot, Frog could do. The guy using lemon pledge is dead. <laughs> well he he went off the side of the cliff.
I went to grab it. He didn't grab the power pellet. Ah. Unlimited power. What would happen if a stormtrooper shot at a red, at a Star Trek red shirt? The, the Star Trek red shirt guy would die. I mean, when it's like people in Starfleet uniforms are just people. If they got shot, they would die. That's it. No more information. Also, they 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 wouldn't only not only people in the red shirt. Like if maybe it was a medical officer with a blue shirt. If a stormtrooper shot them, they would die too. You know where I think that trope comes from? Uh, there's an episode of the original series called The Apple, and in that episode, a lot of red shirts die, and I think. That got started from that episode, mostly, because uh, there's, like, lightning bolts that come down and just, like, kill the guy in the red shirt, but, like, Captain Kirk's all right, you know? I, I'm pretty sure that's where that came from. I mean, they did that in general, you know, where the red shirt guy would die. Like, that wasn't the only episode they did that on. Like, it would happen, but that episode in particular, it happens kind of a lot. So I, I can imagine somebody watching that episode and, and just, it's kind of like so much of a coincidence that the guys in the red shirts are always dying. So, I mean, that does definitely happen on the show. The, the apple is the one with the ball. Actually, the, um, I don't know if you guys ever saw Who Mourns for Adonis, that one with, like, the, the Zeus god guy. I actually met him, uh, at a convention. He was really, really nice. Very, very nice guy. I, I believe he's no longer with us, from what I remember, but, um, he was super nice. He's, you know, you, you meet these people at the conventions, and some people are a little bit more... Uh, forthcoming than others you know some people are a little bit more personable it's like uh, you know if you meet William Shatner you're meeting William Shatner don't expect he, you know he's kind of an asshole a little bit he's the best like I love Shatner but he you know if you're meeting Shatner you get what you get um, uh, you know <laughs> but uh, it's like if you meet me I, I'm awful you don't want you don't want to meet me <laughs> you don't want to meet me. Um, you know, some some people are good. Some people aren't at that. Like, really.
you've been there many, many times where the, the, you didn't he didn't grab the. <sighs> oh, speaking of pack, have you guys seen this by the way? How about this? Yeah, the, the baby Pac-Man thing. It's kind of cool. I don't know. <laughs> speaking of Pac-Man shit everywhere. <laughs> Grinch says, I never met Mike, but my sister met you at too many games and got your autograph, which is now on one of your displays, and she said you seemed very nice, lol. Don't, that, don't do that. You're ruining my story about how I'm an asshole. You, I, keep the mythos going here for me. Jeez, don't be telling people that I'm nice. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna ruin it. <laughs> You're gonna ruin my reputation as an asshole. God damn it. My sister told me that time you asked her where Woody Woodpecker is. Wait, uh, at the con I told that story? I, I probably did. I, I like that story a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised if I told that story. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite story, so I probably did say that. You told that story recently. Probably, I tell the story a lot now because it's my favorite story. <laughs> small Wonder is up there. Wait, what about Small Wonder? Mike pissed in your my fucking gas tank. That's right. Don't you remember that when I pissed in your gas tank? Those was good times. He was at the convention and I, I just pissed all, all over his car. <laughs> I pissed on his windshield. You remember that, right? Good, good times. He was at a long, long hard day of buying games at GameCon. Goes out to his car with the bags. He's like, all right, well, we bought a lot of stuff, honey. Time to go home. I'm standing there on his hood. Not yet, you are. Hope your windshield wipers are working. Actually, uh, they need to be serviced, Mike. Oh. Too late. Too late. It looks like your car has piss all over it. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does look like that, Mike. That? That's what happens when you try to meet me. I told you. I warned you. It's like I'm a, I'm a Family Guy character now. My fucking like, fingers slipped. God damn it. 
It's it sucks to like get that far into a round and then just make a dumb mistake like that. <sighs> Giggity. <laughs> Mike, what do you think of just the ten of us? Graham, Graham Lubbock, right? Mike fed my horse a carrot and later found out it was a piece of shit colored orange. Yeah, you fi you fi how'd you figure that out? I have to tell you though, it was tough to get the orange paint on the piece of shit, and my hand smelt for a week, but man was that funny. I laughed and I laughed until I could laugh no more. <laughs> it's like a fucking Dr. Seuss like thing now. <laughs> Bart's Nightmare. That's a game. Yep. What about Bart's Nightmare? What about it? There's nothing to say. I got A+. Plus. Done. We don't talk about it anymore. There's no, nothing else to say. Mention a different game. <laughs> Honestly. What else do you want from me? I can't get better than A+. Plus. I don't just make a stupid ass mistake this time. <sighs> when I die in this, I'd rather have like a good death, not like a stupid ass death. You know? <laughs> when I just make some dumb mistake.
Where was I? Damn it! Dude, my heart rate is up. Man, it's tough to take out those last couple guys. Man. Look at these guys. Ugh. So close, yeah. I don't know, fuck, it's fucking hard. At least I beat, yeah, that guy and Pipe. <laughs> that was dick shitting nipples close. Well, this is like really addicting. It just makes me want to keep going, but I don't know. I should probably should stop soon. I don't know if I can though. I'm like addicted. <laughs> Some people play this 24-7. Thanks, uh, Super Shane. Shane. Yeah, the white, the white Pac-Man slow you down. Yeah, the red ones can kill you. Mm-hmm. Dig Dug 99. That could be cool. I mean, I like Pac-Man better, but Dig Dug's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to play again. I got it's like I gotta stop, but I'm have it's like I can't stop. Ugh. How long have I been doing this shit? For like almost five hours. Alright, I'm gonna stop soon, but at least one more here. I'm trying. I'm this is where I'm gonna try to start stopping. It is really addicting. Just one more, just one more. Rally X99, yeah, uh, Pango99. Let's just name every arcade game and then say 99 after. How about that? That sounds fun. I really wonder if you go through all the arcade games, like what really would be the best thing to do 99 of? There's probably some games out there that would be like really fucking amazing to do this with. Does, I wonder if this hurts me to like stop here like this. It gives me a fucking break for a second though. Which is nice. Honestly. It's like I almost don't care, it's like worth the break. Even if I get the penalty, it's like if there is some gun.
God. No way. I was about, I was like getting close to calling quits. Thank God I fucking went for another. As, as that Pac-Man was up top and I was like just traveling to the right, I, w I didn't know how close I was. I thought there was like four more guys left. I didn't know it was over. Wow, that's really, really, really satisfying. I think this game's great. It's addicting. It's fun. It's fast paced. It's, I think it's fucking awesome. I think it's good. Finish on a high note. Yeah, I agree. That's it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I would say get this game. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. It, it, I feel like I want to play it more too. It makes me want to play it more. Um, so uh, I might I might try it on my Switch in the handheld mode and try it with these these things and let you know how how this D-pad really is. Um, I feel like I gotta spend more time with it because like with D-pads, I feel like I need a lot of time with games to really decide how. I, I like with it. I am not totally set, totally sold on it yet, but um, so far they're pretty good. Um, yeah, get get it. So what happens if I click the button here? Hey, there you go. Pretty good. Yeah, fuck you, A. Nice name, asshole. All right. Uh, well, that was really fun. Really good game. Um, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for all the subs tonight, especially at this late hour. We got all kinds of subs and hype trains and bits and all that. I appreciate it. Um, this is really fucking addicting, like super addicting. Um, and then people yell at me and some people say it's addictive or whatever. You get that. You know what I mean? Whatever the word is. Naturally, the grammar police comes in. <sighs> Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I'll probably be back tomorrow with something else. I don't know. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Bye.